What's good? Nerds Got Words Universe. Uh, hi ho, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Muppet Show. I am your host, host Kermit the Frog, and uh, uh, wait, wait, no, this isn't the Muppet Show. Huh? I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, hi, everyone. How's everybody doing? How yes. do you do? Fantastic. You know, it's your uh, Celestian deities here within the NGU, and today we're talking to you about the Eternals movie. Was Marvel's new movie an excellent film? Or did it not feel like an MCU movie at all? Was the movie great, or will it go down for eternity uh-huh. as a bad film? <laughs> eternity. <laughs> yeah, because they're Eternals. Eternity. Uh, they're gonna live forever. Yeah, that was good. Shut up, Adrian. Laughed. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. So let's talk about it. So, like what we do in all our podcasts, well, let's just do our pre ratings. Uh, when I went in there, I thought this movie would probably either be I'd see it again, or honestly, probably buy worthy. What do you think, Luis? Uh, I think going in, I thought it would be a once is good enough. I sort of assumed everybody was gonna die. <laughs> Why? Honestly, honestly no. yeah, Same. I I I assume we're gonna get like a Rogue One situation. You know what I mean? Just because you're introducing these powerful beings, and you know, even the trailers, you know. Pose proposed questions like, "Oh, wait, why did you intervene with Thanos and shit like that?" Like these these beings that we just got introduced are, I mean, arguably, I don't think anybody can deny it. Technically, it's just stronger than the Avengers themselves, yeah. minus like Doctor Strange or like Wanda, because those two motherfuckers are just out of this world. But other than that, well, I guess the Vision was pretty. Point is, you're talking about Eternals, you know. Um, and I thought, honestly, I thought somehow this was going to be a one and done story with them. So I really thought it was going to be a, a, a once is good enough. I thought they were just going to set up the cosmic shit and then boom, be over with it. Obviously, as we'll get into it, it wasn't that. Yeah. But yeah, my pre-rating going in, I thought it was going to be a once is good enough. Yeah, I honestly thought that this movie uh, was just kind of like a... I honestly expected it to be a little bit of a low tier. Like, yes, obviously I said I'd see it again, Byworthy. But compared to the other ones that I said was Byworthy, I kind of maybe thought that it would have been more like... I knew it was going to be story-driven, but I wasn't quite sure like how they would incorporate all the other things. So what would, what do you think, Adrian? Pre-rating, you know. Pre-rating? I, the, they... That same trailer over... <laughs> oh my god, that trailer was so annoying, but I honestly thought it was going to be like a once was good enough kind of movie, to be honest. It didn't have too many high expectations, because, you know... We're, They're we're, building we're, up again. We're building know? up, we're going we back to that We haven't had phase. an emotional yeah. con- like, connection with these characters yet. So, once I saw it, I was like, oh, it was actually... No, my expectations were... I came out with better expectations with the movie. I don't think it was... I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, if you go with low expectations, everything's way better. Yeah. Honestly, just start with yeah. that. What do you think about it, Murphy? Your pre rating? I, th- I thought it was going to be a either once is good enough or I'd see it again, just based off of what I saw. Um, I thought some of them were going to die, but I didn't think all of them were going to die. But well, I felt like that was a bit obvious because there was 10 of them, you know? It's, yeah. It's kind of hard to control 10 moving pieces. Within an origin story, in a way, because this yeah. is what this is what it kind of it was. It did feel like it was ten of them too, to be honest. It, it, it did not feel like there was ten of them. But um, I mean, I mean, well, I, I'm sure we'll talk about that later. How they definitely they, yeah. they really handled all the characters in a good way. Yeah. Big spoiler warning. Yeah, here's right the spoiler now. warning. Here We're putting it spoiler. out there because sometimes we forget and just start blasting through it. So yeah. spoiler warning. Really. Spoiler warning in one. <clears throat> well, spoilers in one, two, three, four. Iker is really pounded Cersei in the desert, bro. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> this will really just clap cheeks. No, he's like, sad, he's like, bro. I love you. And oh then, then she, she just gets some ass? Like, is it that easy? Is, hey, well, they knew each other for thousands of years. Oh, yeah, you're, right. you're right. But I'm just saying. Is that how long it takes to get to just get some? You have to wait a thousand years? Can you years? imagine being a Mesopotamian in the, in the, in the, back then? You just walk in. Homeboy's herding some goats going, and just see some, going, some, some celestial for, beings. You're going, for, you're going for a night walk, and I was over here clapping. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> saying a plane, we ain't land yet. And then, and then the, then, the homie <laughs> that stole the bike? <laughs> oh, we'll get to the homie that stole the bike. All right, Ryan, go ahead. All right, now let's for real get into it. Um, so first off, uh, let's talk about like the quote-unquote 
villains, I would say, or like the character growth villains, the deviants, you know. AKA um, the Bionicles. Were the they? Bionicles? Yeah, yeah, dude, they look like fucking like they look like Bionicles that went through like an infuser and they're a little melted and burned. Honestly, yeah, yeah. they did. A little that, bit. That's what that's what me and Ryan agreed on that they're secretly they Bionicles. They should do a Bionicles movie. Side, they should do a Bionicles. They really should do a Bionicles. Movie. I would watch that shit. I love um, the Bionicles. So yes, yeah, were the deviants needed for their like character progression? And were they good enough? Her character, I can't even talk. Were they good enough character progression villains? Like, could there have been something else there? Uh, and then I'll just leave it off at that because I was going to talk about Crow, which is like that main de- deviant. Uh, deviant that was deviant. able to steal their powers. Was he good for the film or was he kind of just there? Like, what do you guys think about that? He was honestly just there. I mean, yeah. I think I think it was good, like in terms of story right how they set up it sets up the reveal right of like the uh, erisham creating both and just that the deviants they had more more i guess autonomy right so he made the deviants to be like enemies so that only the smartest of the people that were on that planet would be able to figure out a way to deal with them so thus helping so yeah so they were they were meant to eliminate already apex predators yeah. right that was the whole point so if you think about it the deviants killed the dinosaurs sort of say like that was their goal right yeah, they kind of look like dinosaurs uh, they kind of yeah. did um and i think probably why they look like that is probably they were yeah a few of the older ones look yeah. older um i think it was a good it was i think it was a good uh they served their purpose right obviously they were a good fake villain because the true villain uh flew too close to the sun <laughs> And he was he. By the way, he was I saying can't. that the entire time we were watching Flew the movie. The, hey man, flat of Icarus, bro. <laughs> yeah, cue, cue the Iron Maiden. Um, Iron Maiden has a song called Flight of Icarus. Yep. So you guys wouldn't get this song. <laughs> hey, I know this song. But um, no, but I th- I thought the Deviants were a good pseudo villain, so to speak. Like, were they there for? Like, were they needed, though? Were they needed to help the Eternals progress? I mean, because in a way, the Deviants kind of brought them together again. And they kind of disbanded when there were no more Deviants, at least what they thought. So Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. So Allegedly. did you think that, like, they would have came together anyways? Or do you think the Deviants were that driving force? That Oh, they were definitely back? the driving force. Yeah, well, you can go on with that, Adrian, if you had anything else. Uh, what What are your thoughts about the Deviants? The Bionicles? The Bionicles? Best bi- CGI Bionicles I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they were like they were they were there mainly for the Eternals. In the end, they uh, they kind of get forgotten, like at the end of the movie, because you know in the end they're not even fighting those yeah. that one deviant. Did they even kill them all? I don't even know. I uh, don't even know. But you know what's funny? Uh, I was thinking like because Agro comes in, he's like, "Come here, little bitches," and then he takes them away, and then there's still demons well, out was, there. What was the guy's name? The main deviant? Crow? Uh, Crow. 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 Yeah. The I started looking through my memory, and I was like, "Oh, he looks like one of those weird alien dudes from John Carter." <laughs> <laughs> He does. Yeah. That's literally just hit me right now. John Carter from Mars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That movie. I thought it was good. It was all right. <laughs> what about, so what about Crow? Here, I'll bring this one to you first, Mark. The guy that was stealing their powers. Like, so yes, I also agree the Deviants were kind of needed because it's what brought them back together. They realized that they were stronger, so they needed to be, to team up to fight them. So I'm like, oh, okay. But Crow was able to steal their powers. He was smarter. He was kind of like the King Deviant. He only stole what? Two powers? Or how two, he, he stole two. two. Yeah. He stole, no, he stole No, he stole three. Ajax and he stole Gilgamesh. Didn't, didn't he kill one other one? No. no. Was he, was about, he was about to kill Athena, Athena but like Athena, then she, he, she, she diced and sliced him You don't him kill Athena. Athena. Athena, Athena turned on Fruit Ninja and just... Cause it's Athena. Honestly, it's yeah. Athena. yeah, so what do you think about Crow? She didn't like that. I mean, <laughs> like, was he was he needed, or could it have just been the Deviants regularly? I think it could have just been the Deviants regularly, to be honest. And even that was like, to me, I don't think they were needed, to be honest. Like, they could have gone in another direction or something like that. They they honestly were kind of pointless. I mean, honest, I like, feel if a like, celestial was kind like of destroying met- the planet, they would have came back together anyways. Well, so yeah, it's like the yeah. deviants 
just made a comeback sooner, so continue. Sorry. But no, 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 you're good. You're good. Anyway, no, the the deviants were there to eliminate predators, apex predators from the earth, like Luis said. But in that time span, they became apex predators themselves. Mm-hmm. So the celestials, in a way, messed up in their design function. So that's why they made the Eternals. To get rid of the deviants. To me, you bring them in in the beginning. They, they have this theme where it's going to be like, they're going to be a main focal point into the movie. And there's a period where they're kind of not even there. They're like just <clears throat> forgotten a little bit. and Frozen me, in timeouts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> honestly, yeah. And honestly, if it wasn't for Icarus... In the first place, they wouldn't have gotten any of their powers to begin with, in my opinion. Yeah, so what I was thinking is, like, it kind of makes sense Deviants went rogue, so think about it. They were sent to kill the Apex Predators. Like you were saying, now they're the Apex Predator. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't, you know, they can't just fly off the planet that they're done. They're stuck there, you know, what are they going to do? Yeah. And their only program is kill, so... Well, I mean, I mean, that's what Erisham goes into, right? Yes, he he says, like, he's all, like, my, my flaw was that I uh, I didn't account for them evolving, yeah. right? So they became more sentient, more... They were able to think for themselves. Yeah. As opposed to Celestials, I mean, Eternals, who, like we see, their memories are uploaded to the cloud, and Erisham only really allows <laughs> they're them... They're uploaded to the cloud. They're uploaded to the cloud. <laughs> and Erisham... Erisham oh, got to keep buying uh, that, that storm, that storm <laughs> space. Erisham only allows them to remember what he wants, right? So he resets them every cycle, right? Yeah. Um, so he made robot servants because he realized that it's the only way that he can get his shit done. Well, when much. you think about it, uh, Celestials were first made from nothing. Like, the first world only had Celestials. Yeah, yeah they, they precede the Big Bang, so they created right because the the, the one above all I forgot their names created a daughter and a son, which is time and space, and they have a bunch of other things. Diago and Palkia. Diago and Palkia. They yeah they created I see it's created Diago and Palkia. Diago and Palkia. Yeah, and so they created else. the first world, which had celestials, and then it was split into the celestials that are fine with the first world, with, with the rest of the universe and stuff being completely blank, versus the the side that wanted more and wanted to expand so obviously the one with galactus on it won and the first world exploded due to all this fighting and that's how we have all these worlds so in order for a celestial to be born since they're technically outside in a way of how life works you know you know you're born from like a like a mom and stuff like that they were kind of there so they just they're born from energy and how they get the most amount of energy to be born is from planets and and I assume Earth at this time was made around that that baby celestial. Yeah. And as Earth evolved, the people evolved. You know, stuff died, new life, like all that energy, the life force was going into the celestial. And that's kind of what he was explaining, at least from my understanding of how celestials are made. And then he brought up the whole idea where one planet needs to die for only for billions to be well, made. I mean, one thing I think that I I I realized afterwards. Is that you can't take any of the information information Erisham provides, not even the opening crawl. You can't take it at face value. Can I just say he looked badass too? Oh, they yeah. they they did they, they did wonders in terms of um, visual effects. visual and like really getting his size. You know when we first see yeah. him, and then just, they did that music. It was like, his face, yeah. like yeah. damn. Yeah. Dude, and so no, but like Jack was not even bigger than his like pinky nail. Yeah, and so yeah, I mean, yeah. so like what I'm, what I, what was, what I was getting to, uh, shit, what was that? <laughs> what the fuck were we just talking about? Uh, uh, we we're talking about the growth of the celestials on needing energy uh, through yeah, the planet. Yeah, how they were, how the the emergence process begins. I mm-hmm. know I wasn't gonna say something else. Honestly. So what would have happened if oh, Ego won? Uh, what's his name? Ego. Ego. Well, Ego, yeah. Ego is. What so, if, he, so, what if okay. he won? So the, 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 the thing, the thing, no, the thing is, is like Ego is a celestial, but he's not a celestial. He's not a prime celestial, pretty much. Yeah. A celestial host. That's what the difference is. There's multiple types of celestials. The ones that we see are celestial hosts, in which they are in charge of expanding the universe 
creating more life, creating more celestial. And also, they're from, like, the original First World. They're very, very old. Yeah. Whereas Ego's, yeah. he's... He's something else. He's kind of like a celestial he's a parasite. He's like, yeah, I was about to say he's like a <laughs> celestial parasite. Well, I mean, the, so they all come from like the same general time and stuff. Um, but Ego is like sentient bound to where like his heart was or something, which was on that planet Ego. Whereas, well, he's a living planet. Yeah, so whereas like yeah. Ag Agor, you know, he just walks around, does whatever he wants. Yeah. Um, God, I forget what the fuck I was... Oh, right, right, right. Erisham and what he explains, right? Even like in the opening crawl, whatever he explains to like Cersei afterwards, you can't take it at face value because multiple times he contradicted himself. Like the story itself contradicts the opening crawl we get at the start of the movie, right? So he is a um uh what's the term? A um uh, a false narrator or you can't trust him. You can't trust him as a narrator. So yeah. I think in Eternals 2, we're going to get more of the truth. And I think that's where Arrow... I mean, spoilers for the end credits. I think that's where Arrow's comes into it. Because he's clearly a prime so that the Celeste, a prime Eternal like Ajax was. Um, and Cersei ended up becoming. So I think that we're going to get way more um, clear insight into how the Celestials work. Um, one thing the writers came out to sit and talk about also was that because they did bring up Galactus. The writers brought up how they were thinking about putting Galactus into the movie. But they're going to save it for, for Eternals 2. In that, pretty much, um, I think they said that it, it's they're going to have to, like... If I remember correctly, they said they, ha they might have to save a Celestial. <laughs> so you, we might see some Celestial on Celestial conflict in Eternals 2. And how all of that ties into well, it. Well, I, that, I mean, that makes sense because it's the ones that were that followed the code versus the ones that rebelled. Yeah. And right, obviously, right, right. you know, Arshrim doesn't want those ones that rebelled, you know, grouping and, and getting more and more of his Celestials to go to their side because that would prevent the universe from expanding. It would prevent new Celestials from being born. Or hear me out. He might be the one that tries to change things because he did take the... The last few Eternals? Yes, well, he's also... Because he, he took him back and was like, I need to see if your information's like any good or not. Well, he's also so, essentially well, yeah, I mean, the judge of the universe. He's Erisham the judge. So. He's yeah, the, yeah. like a judge. And obviously I can assume that he's going to judge yeah. Earth worthy. So, so to that or maybe point, not. And that's why they send Galactus there. To that point, Adrian, what you said, I so I thought a lot about Ajax's actions, right? And how when we see them at Tenochtitlan, right? And he tells her, she tells him, all right, everybody go and, and learn about the people, right? Mm -hmm. he, she tells him, go and experience the people, see them grow, this and that. I think she knew all along that they were going to stop the Celestial from being born. And that Erisham, because remember, Ajax never got her memories. Erased, no, right? she was no. the like recycled, she where she kept, she was the leader. So I'm pretty sure that Ajax was like, okay, if I send them all, to go see these it's people thrive, experience fall, life. You'll fall in love with them. Yeah, Erish will see those memories and be like, "All right, I'll spare Earth." So I think Ajax knew that all along, I, and I think that's why she sent them away. She was okay with splitting up the group, um, aside also from Thena and her mad riri and going crazy. Yeah. And shit like that, you know? right. Where uh, well, I'm in the. You know, you know what's another fun, uh, like interesting fact? What if? Ajax didn't tell Icarus the whole Celestial's plan. That could also that be could true. have changed the whole different perspective. And you know, let's, since we're talking about Ajax, let's, let's like the next point. Let's get into it. Should she have died? Yes. Yes. Do, do but, you think she's, she, but she's coming back. She's gonna come back. She's gonna well, come yes. back. Yeah. I mean, I'm putting "died" in parentheses, quotation marks, because they don't technically die. They just right. lose like their host body, exactly. and then he puts them in a new one. Yeah, on the cloud. On May, the cloud. May, May, cloud. I mean, maybe <laughs> not since she rebelled, but who knows. So who knows? probably who, after when the judge guy like comes back and like looks at their memory, she oh, like all right, I'll bring Ajax back here. You know, <laughs> I mean, I look, I thought she was an amazing character, and I um. So you you think that she needed to die in order for the movie to progress? Plot wise, yeah, yeah. Least, that was the whole point, right? Her death was the whole crux of the whole thing. That's what caused that deviant to yeah, evolve. What, yeah, too. Icarus. Yeah. Ic Icarus unknowingly evolved the deviant. I think he didn't account that in his plan. I mean, how could like he's been fighting him for a thousand years? He, you know? he had no idea. How the heck yeah. did he know that one was gonna? That's why he's never done that before. <laughs> I know. So 
Well, what do you think? This is all just hypothetical. Anyone can jump in. Like, if she lived just a little bit longer, or if she lived throughout the whole thing, how do, how would you think the movie would change? Would they have just all? Because she's like the boss, right? And then they all listen to her, and they're all mm-hmm. trusting her. So, do you think that they would have all just went along with her plan to kill the spare Earth, or do you think there still would have been like rebellion? No, no. I well, like I said, if if she didn't tell Icarus, they would have everyone would have been on board and agreed and like boom, save the world. Yeah. But since she told Icarus, that caused that whole plot twist. It was like, oh, I I killed Ajax. And I was like, oh shit. I kind of didn't see that coming. I kind of saw that coming, but I was like, so I was like, someone was gonna portray someone. But I honestly thought it was Druig that was going to be the betrayal. I thought, I thought yeah. was, I was be <laughs> he too. has that look of I betrayal. Mean, to be honest, Druig's, made a cult. <laughs> Druig's power <laughs> is technically kind of like an evil power, like controlling people control, against yeah, their yeah. will. He said he could have literally controlled the, everyone in the whole world if he wanted to. Yeah. But he's like, nah. <laughs> well, he's actually like, nah, dude, they need like free will. Yeah. So what do you think, Merck, about Ajax's character? You think she should have lived and stayed on? Um, lived, no. I mean, did stayed we... Out, stayed alive a little bit longer, yeah. But at the same time, though, it her death prevents Cersei's character from developing into, into the that leader form that she eventually became. So, I... I still feel like things would have played out the way that it did in the movie. It's just that it would have been prolonged. You know what I? You know what I just thought of? Hmm. People were like, "Why didn't that go into Icarus? Because Icarus is the one that killed her. Yeah, <laughs> she, exactly. she didn't choose to give it to him because he's yeah. like, I mean, if if that didn't like, happen, Icarus, you dick. Uh, like I think, even if that if that like if she just died to a deviant without him being involved, I think. It might have gone to him because he was kind of like the second in command. I don't. I mean, you think it still would have went to Cersei? I think. I think yeah. I think Aja was grooming Cersei to be the next one, like the next prime eternal. Yeah. I, I feel yeah. like she had too much compassion for them. Like she well, was. I, I mean, Aja I mean, had, that, yeah, Aja, that was her plan all along. A lot of compassion too. Yeah, she did. So. So. Icarus was just a dick color. <laughs> Yes, I 100% agree with that. I mean, he just he just thought he was the shit the whole time. He literally only decided to interact yeah. with humans more only just to get closer yeah, to Cersei. Because he, well, he wanted that ass. Yeah, he wanted to have he, them cheeks. He's, he's, he's the power of the power. Never mind. He's, he's, a wannabe, <laughs> he's a wannabe Superman. Yeah, we, we the power of Superman betrayal. knockoff. That's what I'm going to call him now. Superman knockoff. Um, well, DC it, hasn't been It's funny, yet. though, that you like you bring up you know his, his their relationship. Uh, when you go back and you look at their wedding scene, if you look at Sprite, Sprite looks fucking annoyed. She looks mad. Well, right? Sprite's... Oh, yeah. And we find out later that Sprite's in love with it. Well, yeah. It's, it, it, well, it's Sprite like, is like a... Sprite has been... She's like a permanent kid she's who like acts like a Loki. Life. She acts like, like a Loki. Yeah, it's like Kingo says. It's like the, the Peter Pan relationship. Yeah. Like, Icarus is Peter. Yeah. Cersei's Wendy. And... Sprite is Tinkerbell. So that's actually an Easter egg. I'm glad you brought that up because in the comics, um, Sprite visits the Peter Pan, or he's the original writer. Mm-hmm. And in, in Marvel continuity, the writer of Peter Pan got the idea for, for Peter Pan from looking at Sprite. Because if you go in the comics, Sprite looks a lot like Peter Pan. Oh. So in, in, in Marvel comics continuity mm-hmm. canon, Sprite is responsible for the creation of Peter Pan based on his Im- in the comics he's a male. Sprite's a male. Yeah. Based on his image. Yeah. You learn something new every day, folks. Yeah. I, think the, I mean in the uh, end, it's like Sprite is the one who made all the all those all, all the stories, stories too. You yeah. know the, the story the 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 the, the, the Icarus, the, Athena, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh. All of those stories. So every every character really has ties into mythology and like earth mythology which, which fits perfectly right because they've yeah. been around for forever since the beginning of civilization pretty much um but yeah also um, thinking about it cersei's powers is the only one that interacts with the environment that she's around that is true so i don't think any of the other ones would have had the power that she did yeah to kill the celestial outside of her because she yeah i thought it was you know, cool. like what's what's icarus gonna do if he gets like the all the powers. He's just going to laser beam it. Like, that's not even like, anything. The guy's bigger than the planet. He's trapped on it. Yeah. I thought it was cool how, like, they each, 
they each had their roles, right? Like it's kind of like D and D, right? Like you have your mages, you have your your healer, your healer, you your have attacker, your attacker. Your, we're we're gonna be doing a D and D camp. We're doing a D and D camp. We're gonna do a D and D camp. Yeah. We're doing a D and D. We just need to find a dungeon master. That sounds so wrong, but okay. I don't know. Uh, oh, I hit my fucking funny bone right now. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Not so funny now, huh? I, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Jesus. um, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Cersei yeah. is, you know, she's just the one that makes sense to lead. You know, Fina, you know, I think the probably the most important thing about the Fina was her flawedness. Her matter And how even yeah. even a, a literal god can make, like, mistakes and how he didn't fully wipe her memory. Because she was thinking to her past lives where she was, like, painting and showing how they destroyed another world. Another world, yeah. Similar to this one. Yeah. So, like... For people that didn't know what the Mad Weary was, I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if you still didn't get it, Mad Weary was kind of like, her mind is fracturing a little bit. Like, she, her mind is splitting into two. And there's basically no cure for this. Well, so yeah. that's why Ajak suggested to have her memory wiped and everything like that. Yeah, well, I think that also just makes sense, logically, because when you think about it, you know, how many times have they been deleted and re-released, deleted and re-released, yeah. you, know, you know, it makes An sense eternity. that... Yeah, literally, for, <laughs> for eternity. <laughs> so, you know, I think the movie's like... I hinting, like that joke, that's funny. <laughs> the movie's like nonchalantly hinting at that, that, they, that they've been doing it for a long time on several planets, and this was just good, supposed to be like just another one on the block. Yeah. yeah. And showing that flaw... Uh, do you guys feel that should have been more impactful? Because I feel like it was just weird and that at the very end, it, I was like, oh, okay, they've done it before, thanks to her drawings. Um, Cause it was yeah, because like it kind of feels, it kind of feels, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much Alzheimer's. Yeah. And it, <laughs> I felt like they just kind of forgot about it at the end, right? Yeah, I think they, they were kind of like, this She like kind of got over it. She kind of got over it. She's yeah. just like, oh. Yeah, I'm over it now. It's like, yeah. she's batshit crazy, well, so we're going to bring it back later. So maybe when they connected together in the human mind mm -hmm. maybe that helped out a little bit you know because Dana was also on the ship looking for other eternals yeah so is she, maybe she still has it maybe in her eternals too we might see it who you know who knows but the point is that demonstrated that they can be flawed because of how much you know manufacturing gone into them yeah uh but it also shows that earth is not the first and earth is not the last it's not yeah Exactly. Man, that fool stole a bike, though. <laughs> oh, my. We're going to get to the bike person. So, but and then anyway, no. With with Thena, like, if you still didn't pay attention to the movie, I don't know how you didn't. But Thena is basically, like, Athena in Greek mythology. They got, the humans got Athena from Thena. From literally her. Yeah, exactly. They just yeah. added an A. Yeah. They're like, oh, boom, an A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. We'll we'll add an A. That that'll solve everything. That's like the thing where it's like you give your friend your homework, but you tell him not to copy it. So he just puts a he just <laughs> slightly <laughs> changes <laughs> it. Slightly <laughs> changes it up. <laughs> oh god. And also, they also talk about how she is also like like Ajax. She's a she's one that's been washed and repeated several times yeah. over more than the others. I would say. Yeah. Because he loves to fight. Yeah, and she's I'm a good warrior. She's yeah. honestly like out of all of them, she'd probably be maybe her and like Icarus would be probably the, she's the, the best two to fight the deviants. Yeah, honestly, she's, she's the I don't goddess know. So Icarus cool. took forever to kill some of those deviants. So. I mean, that was an evolved deviant though, and he still soloed it. He did solo it. True. So I mean, definitely, I think I would love to see Athena versus Icarus fight. That would be fucking. We got part of it. Yeah. 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 Part of I feel it. like yeah, they made him taste. too strong because they were all like, "We could, so, we, we can't defeat it, Chris. We can't." And, and then, I was like, "What about Athena? She's like right there." Yeah. So <laughs> here is one of the things I did not like. I get it. The Eternals they have different powers. They're different things. But shouldn't they all? You know, Age actually can commute. So okay, she's the leader. But shouldn't they all be essentially a little bit equal? I don't. Because in the in the comics, it leans a little bit more to them being equal and how their powers are still like god level. But yeah, within yeah. here, like Cersei turned a rock to sand, and then meanwhile, Icarus is like he just one punched the fucking Billy. Well, so it's like okay. Well, I mean, you're comparing apples to oranges in this yeah. scenario because Cersei can literally turn anything into anything, and yeah, and, I, and throughout the Icarus film, she just has deviant. laser eyes. 
And well, he's he, super he strong. has super strength. Yeah, why fight. he has more stuff to that? Well, you know, which I, I assume in Eternals too, we'll see them. I think that, or with other Eternals. Well, when you think yeah. about it, if their powers are equal, then your final battle isn't climactic. You That's know what I'm true. Because at the end, you have you know. So think of it this way: Gilgamesh, Kingo, Icarus, and Thena are your attack people, right? You forgot mm-hmm. the what's her Dude, name? Dude, I get okay, okay. Uh, I got well, this. I'm getting to Macari. We're doing Macari. MMOs IP. Okay, you got your what DPS. You, too? <laughs> you got your like DPS. Too? You got yeah. your tanks. She, she you got your healers. Yeah, she was a fire support. Yeah, 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 but she's sort of mid tier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she's she's like fast and she got the punches right, but she ain't got the superpowers like the other three, four. Uh, no man, she's been she was pulling a lot of sonic booms. Yeah, that yeah, was pretty good though. And that was she she fucking combo wombos on Icarus, bro. Exactly. That's yeah. what that Hey, she the fastest speedster. Hey, she she saw that coming. She. My boy Quicksilver could never, bro. Oh, I yeah, no, never no. Saw that coming. Hands down, she's the fastest speedster. <laughs> Honestly, I thought she was going to die, and I was like, damn, they're going to do her. They're, they're going to do the speedster dirty. dirty. The speedster's dirty. Yeah, yeah no, so. No, but, um, and so, I mean, if, if Fastos, right, he has to fight. No, I get you. You, you got your attackers. You got your utilities. Yeah, exactly. You got your, yeah, exactly. you got your yeah. healer. He was Dude. cool, though. I liked him. Fastos was dope. It's just hey, like a regular one. I think, uh, was that like, that was like the first, like, of, like, real, uh, like, finally a proper representation or i guess a pretty good like better than just the 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 what we got in like endgame like representation for the lgbtq community i think that was like the first time right where like it was fully fully acknowledged in the mcu which to i thought was great my knowledge yeah yeah because in the, in the end game we had uh, I mean, they did little, one of the russo they did say that he was on a date with a guy uh but this time we fully on saw full just proper representation we saw it, of a so, family yeah. i thought it was great um this movie really, if if I may just sidetrack on terms of representation, it, it really hit so many great marks in terms of incorporating, you know, you had Salma Hayek and like other uh, pe- per- persons of color with Fastos, Makari. Uh, you have great representation. Um, I, I saw an interview today of actually Salma Hayek crying because of the emotion she got when she saw herself in the superhero suit because she's like, wow, like, she she said she said in, in Spanish you know she said like she saw like she saw her skin she saw her brown skin in the superhero suit and she like got overwhelmed like like oh my god this is finally happening you know we're finally getting all this representation yeah. I mean and then also when you for, think about it when comics were originally being made I'm talking about like the old school old oh, yeah, school yeah. DC they were all white because yeah. that's just how the era was and then also you know and we, now we're finally evolving into like multicultural acceptance right. and stuff yeah. and ethnicity and then, acceptance and, and then also good. with like Macari, they hired a actual deaf uh actress to do the the no wait deaf or mute deaf she's deaf no deaf. she's deaf because she's, she's, deaf. Deaf. <laughs> she's uh, deaf i thought she was both for some no she's deaf uh she they actually actually hired a proper deaf actress to do the character Macari, who is deaf in the comics right yeah um and that's also great representation for you know um, people with disabilities and things like that. It's great. She signed everything. She she made a sign for Eternals. She made a sign for her own name. I mean, um, and then meanwhile, there's Black Widow with only two Russians that didn't talk, and everyone else is Scarlett right. Johansson. <laughs> Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson once portrayed a Japanese woman. Never fucking forget yeah, that. I will not. Fucking a. First but, of all, when you know, we, this? Ghost in the Show. Ghost in the Show, but Ghost, yeah. you can't huh? really say Ghost in the Show is based on Japan, though. I mean, we're, we're it, it's basically Ghost in the Show it got from Blade Runner. Uh, Remember yeah, that? Yeah, but it's pretty. It's, yeah. it's, it, we'll get into that later. Yeah, to fully to fully hammer on your point, Luis, you know, we all even before that, before this, it's we also still had one of the best you know, we had Shang Chi, which Shang-Chi. is a Chinese. It's been a person. great. It's been a great. We're finally year evolving for representation. Yes, we're evol- We're finally Minus evolving away. You know, a lot of more culture. Yeah, and definitely like that one did good too. They didn't hammer you know Chinese culture like they didn't whitewash. They did it, it pretty properly. I, I will say Eternals had some. In terms of, I will say it was kind of a little weird to. They focused too hard on how we were. S- s- yeah. See Tenochtitlan fall like that, and them just kind of be like, "All right, cool." Like, <laughs> as someone with 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 blood that could probably be tied back to that shit, like it's kind of weird. Like, oh, so you you motherfuckers just gave up? Okay, cool, bro. All right, all right, I see. That's how it is. But um, other than that, though. Um, I mean, it was great for representation yeah. wise. So, I mean, I'm skipping here, but you know, Fastos, why not? He's probably the best character in the whole movie, anyways. Fastos uh, is dope, bro. Fastos it also, is very, and very I'm pretty sure character. in other planets that they wiped out, I'm 
pretty sure that they didn't have like family values like that. No. They didn't. They no. they weren't as attached. Yeah, I and think... since Ajak has seen so many planets rise and fall, probably got to her. Yeah. You know, she was probably the only one that didn't get her mind wiped at at each well, new cycle, which it kind of made sense. Well, yeah, because Fastos was felt like indirectly responsible for humans developing their weaponry at a rapid rate, and yeah. he felt responsible for. Them. Shima and Naga yeah, yeah exactly. they showed they showed him there. Wait, wait. They, they that's when he, he gave up on yeah. humanity. He literally res felt responsible for creating the A bomb. Yeah, and th at that point, he just gave up on humanity, and his family kind of restored that faith. Well, a he, bit. I think he kind of thought he's like, I've advanced them too far, too fast. Yeah, because yeah. think about it, you know, like. In terms of evolutionary development, the other ones were not as useful. Like he was the <laughs> technology, like you know, Dr Druid could just control them. Like he was probably yeah, the main driving force in their evolution. When they were in Babylon, he was making an, a steam engine in the ship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Ajax was like, "No, no, 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 too no, soon. No. They're they're too soon, too, too soon. soon, too I soon." Think... Fastos. They're like, yeah. "Okay, they're like what else you got?" He's like, "Okay." This is a plow. A farming tool. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it plows dirt. Yeah. Um, I had. I mean, I, I figured they were gonna like tie him into like the atomic bomb and what happened in Japan and things like that. And I thought it was pretty thought provoking and good thing that they did that. Like, I think it would have yeah. been badass if they showed Fastos with Tony Stark's dad. That, I, like, I a been quick, like a quick, but scene. I feel like they're trying to move away from Tony now. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I know they, I know they are, but like he advanced technology from at his time like very far. Yeah. It was shown in in Captain America, yeah. so it's like you know where the heck did he get these ideas? Like, right? Obviously, you know it's his own genius, but if he was just there real quick to just be like, boom, check this shit out, like I'm a sure mentor, do it, you know, that would have been cool. They could go back and you know do a flashback fast. It was like at one of the. The World's Fair or something. I don't like know. That. Maybe, oh, maybe yeah. we gotta rewatch Endgame, and maybe he was already back. Maybe, the back maybe Fastos character. or some was on that on that on that base. Who knows? Maybe. We gotta go back. I'm exactly. just, you know, I'm just out of all the Eternals, he in helps of, of their progression. He was the most useful. Yes. Now, Gilgamesh, um, my boy Gilgamesh. Did bro. you think he Little needed Gil. to? So Ajax, I brought up Ajax's death primarily to bring up Gilgamesh's death because Ajax, we talked about it. It makes sense. It kind of needed to happen. Okay. And I felt like she kind of it kind of foreshadowed by, like they were she was like trying to set yeah. them up. She was like, "Go live amongst the people." But Gilgamesh is dead. He was basically Karen Thena's broken ass the whole movie. I, Gilgamesh did, did not need to die. Did he need, he need to, to die. die? He was an emotional death of the movie. Yeah, Ajax was a plot driven death. Gilgamesh was like the catalyst that was like, "Okay, we need to take care of Gilgamesh business." Gilgamesh is just like. Oh fuck no, bro! By the way, his fight scene was badass, and his death, hey, like man, he was like, dude. Hey. Man, dude, his punches, you could feel it. One punch, man, see, like, like he was like, boom, boom. Yeah, the like, sound design was good. That dang. sound design was amazing. Yeah, bro. and then it's the slow power up of it, like it, and then when he punched him like that, was just watch awesome. out, watch out for that Gilgamesh cosplay next year. <laughs> <laughs> do that, it. oh do my it. god, yeah, and, do and, it. His, and who can From forget? Pain? His his, his his famous spit beer. Oh. <laughs> he dropped the so pie. Funny. He dropped. Yeah, the, I literally said. Something. Oh, the pie. We, oh, yeah, he was he was grief I'm stricken. Of course, you drop a pie. We, we were in the movies, and I was like, "Don't drop the pie." Don't drop the pie. Don't drop the pie. And then, the the oh, and then the everyone pie. was like, "Oh, that should look good." Hey, what, about, <laughs> what about you, Adrian? Did Gilgamesh need to die? He did not need to die. I love technically. Love that they would have stood a way better chance at defeating Icarus if Gilgamesh was there. So I I think that's shit out of him. I think that's why Gilgamesh had to die because he was like, you know, Thena's kind of broken. He's like the last powerhouse. I know, but when they were fighting, I'm pretty sure that's what Icarus was trying to do. And then in the forest, he was trying to make the deviants kill him. That's why he that's he he, he can fly really fast. He has his little. Let's be real. Icarus vision. did not really give a rat's ass about anyone. He didn't. But but Cersei and Ajax and Ajax dead. Cersei's the only one there. Yeah. But she's having a. Oh, no, yeah, like she's he, having a he dark night. Uh, right he timed. Um, <laughs> he timed. Gilgamesh's death. I'm pretty. Is that sure what of you it. think he did? I'm pretty you, you, can you guys death? can only see what Luis is doing right now. So he's a fool. <laughs> but no, I feel like he just 
did that. Yeah, he so it, it, it definitely would have been like that. Harder. He knew like the only ones that were really the biggest problem was probably Gilgamesh. Well, he and knew he, Thina. He, you know, Thina's yeah, on Thina, some but, he, but she can't fight though. He saw that like, oh, she can't fight. She's not. She's basically no longer a threat. Well, because if she did start fighting, what if it kicked in and she already had her weapons out? She would just start swinging on the homies. So Gilgamesh was like the He's final. The <laughs> Gilgamesh, like that's why she, she would have went fruit ninja on him. But Gilgamesh is like the only one that could have stopped him. Gilgamesh, so that's why he died. Gilgamesh what do you think, Luis? Is uh, is uh, what Natasha was to the Hulk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're that's right. That's, <laughs> that's what it was. Um, what I think about Gilgamesh? Did you think that his like? Yes. Did you think his death was necessary? Do oh yeah, think... it was necessary. It sucked, but it was necessary. Um, well, he's not. You know, this just the whole thing. It's like they're not really dead, right? They're just. I mean, yeah, we'll their get physical body is, is, is back. Gone. But I yeah, becomes back. Um, also, one funny thing from that whole scene in that desert is like when they're sitting and eating. And then Sprite's like, who's going to lead the Avengers now, right? And Nick Chris is all like, I can, I can lead them. And everybody, like, everybody laughs at him. Yeah. And I feel like that's like, that, that like kind of shows like, yeah, even they wouldn't even see him as a fucking leader. Um, so well, that kind of plays into why Cersei became the prime eternal. You know I mean? mean, well, would you want, like, let's say like chess, right? Would you want your queen to be the leader when she's like the most valuable piece on the board? Like, yeah. he can just, like, he can just be like, you go off over there, fight four of those, and the rest of us will fight the five over there. Like, he, how can he lead if he can just go off on his own and take care of shit? Well, I don't think I, don't think I get your analogy. I don't think... <laughs> well, like, he, you know, he's obviously... Like, are you saying, like, like, he doesn't, like, he would probably want to do things by himself? Is that yeah, like, so basically, he's, like, like, a front runner. Like, he'll be on the, like, the front line fighting, right? So... Why would you want like your most your strongest piece leading everyone else when he's just gonna go off on his own and do his own shit anyways? Like it's just I don't know where I'm going with this, but I wouldn't want him to lead either. Yeah, he's just yeah. An asshole. I will say this. About I don't know. He does look like an asshole ever, ever since the very I'm beginning. Yeah, yeah. I will say this. About Marvel Gilgamesh, Superman. Though. They, they, <laughs> they. There you go. Gilgamesh had some very good insight. Into like character development, he was, was like the like wise man in the group. Yeah. He yeah. was like the he was. he was like the wise uncle that just my bro just drops wanted some, to cook food drops and drink facts. with the homies, bro. That's For real, honestly, he just want to live a nice life with spit beer, <laughs> 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 spit in his homies. I chew each corner. I love you so much. I spit in your own drink. <laughs> <laughs> We have kind of, we kind of, you know, Cersei as the new leader. Thena's like the loose cannon. I chewed each corn. Icarus, Icarus is the each powerhouse. Girl. Gilgamesh is no, like Gilgamesh is the powerhouse. No, I would say Gilgamesh is more of the rock, like the rock for the team. He's like the. the no, no, shut up! Shut up! He's like. The he's like the wise man. <laughs> he's you know he's, he's that homie that you go to ask for advice. He just yeah. understands that it's about drive. It's about power. Oh we my we goodness! Anyways, that's Gilgamesh's <laughs> role. You know, Kingo's role. Yes, Kingo. Kingo! I, to be honest, I the didn't com- like him he that much. King- he was the Ooh, comedy. By the way, uh, there's a really nice satin jacket from uh, our universe. With it's a Kingo jacket. It's purple. I'm gonna get you guys should get one too. I'm gonna get one. How much is it? 60, 70 bucks. 70 sure. bucks? That's not a bad. I'll show you after. Okay, okay. okay. I, I kind of want to see it too. Yes, okay, to yeah, be yeah. honest, out of all the Eternals, he was the one that was most involved with the society. Like, he was a Bollywood. Yeah. Like, what the he hell? Was he was like, like four generations. Yeah. Four, like four generations generation Bollywood, star, Bollywood star. actor. He, he knew more about their technology than they know. You know, like, Cersei, he's like, I have a phone. Meanwhile, King goes, like, I got a camera, man. I'm a billionaire. Yeah. He's I have a great a grandpa, grandpa, and a dad who are all me. He made a fucking empire, bro. He up. did, yeah. Um, he, what do you feel about like his powers? His powers were just zappity zappity. Powers, powers are cool. Zap. Um, I, I, I heard it's cool, but I think they were weak, to be honest. They weren't. You can tell that he was out of the attackers. He was sort of like underneath. He was the support. He, he was, was just under, yeah, yeah, he, he support. He was the, yeah, like he support. he'd shoot yeah. him down, and then Icarus or Gilgamesh would do the finishing blow. Yeah, or Athena. Because yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. I, I did not see him kill a single demon. I, all he did was like oh, oh no, no, he, he did. He did, he did, he did, one. did one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like charged up his one charge. I think that was also. He went. He went. Come and come and And he's like. 
He's like, did you get that? <laughs> yes, sir. And Garland's like, like, yes, sir, I got it. <laughs> he, yeah, he was like the artillery support that would like pin him down and someone else would finish him off. Uh, but it also kind of shows the strength of these new deviants because he was shooting yeah. them and some, some of them were just kind of like barely getting hit. And it took longer for Icarus to defeat him. Like, it was showing that the deviants were evolving more. Um, well, those were the same deviants, like the ones in the forest. Those were the same deviants that one original deviant that absorbed um, yeah, Ajax. Crow. He updated Yeah, yeah he updated yeah, he, like, yeah, yeah, he, he, he gave him that, uh, that yeah. power juice. Power I will juice? say the Bollywood... That the, monster energy, the, I don't know. <laughs> the Bollywood scene of like him recording his... That movie, shit was funny. I mean, I thought it was a little bit too much. I thought it just really played up... I mean, granted, I just praise this movie for its representation, but I thought that was a very stereotypical view of Bollywood. I thought that was a little bit too much. I mean, it's Bollywood. I mean, it kind of looked like... Yeah, but like, it's like, it's that, but then it's more than that. You know what I'm saying? It's Have not you seen Bollywood that. sci-fi movies? I, I've seen a few, but I'm just saying. I mean, you know? They're not great, but they're, they're really fun I mean, to watch. I know, but... He, he was more of their comedy relief. Honestly, yes, he was. Is, Honestly, yes, you know how these, uh, the, the Eternals are basically Terminators? I was hoping that... He was gonna be like a Bollywood Terminator. He, I thought, he was, <laughs> I felt like he was gonna die. Oh, honestly. did you guys notice that uh, in his plane he has Captain America's original shield? Mm. Oh, does yeah, he the, really? the, yeah, he does. Like the, the, the original US, the, when when like Cap was doing like his propaganda tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, had that yeah, one. It's, it's, I saw it. Yeah. Like the right wall. Oh, yeah. We gotta go back and watch it. So it yeah. was it was him that was the Connor Relief and his uh I always, what was his name? The guy Ooh. with all the cameras where he had like three cameras. Oh his uh his valet. His valet. Karun. Karun. Yeah. Some of the Also I mean I took know. notes, I have it right here. It's Karun. Okay, okay. Um <laughs> uh, What was his was his kind of I mean Marvel always does that. Always has I, someone to be the comedy release, someone to be the the I funny to help I, yeah, make yeah. the non the, to help make the serious moments First not though, super serious. I, I I want a white comic relief one day. That's what Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, Ryan, Ryan that's Ryan Reynolds. Sport. That's Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so no, you, uh, you can go off, Mark. You can yes, go off. Yes, no, yes. No, but for that, the one thing I do miss in Mar- in Marvel movies is Stanley, though. All the cameos, Stanley. Yeah, yeah, I will. And there so far has been nothing that filled up that. I wonder because yeah. they said Deadpool was gonna do it. And Supposedly, I, but I don't know. I mean, and, there was one in Venom. It's very quick, and you miss it. He was on the picture of one of the magazines in this Deadpool in Venom too. There was. He was on one of the pictures in one of the magazines of Mrs. Chen's. Uh, uh, oh, he was, huh? He was, yeah. Oh, I didn't so notice that. I think that's what they're going to do. Stan Lee kind of was going off. I didn't see one for Eternals, though. I didn't see any sort of reference to him. Uh, Stan Lee was always that guy that you were just always happy to see him. Exactly. And it sucks that he won't be in the Superman it's, movie. And it's sad that he's not going to be, you know, there anymore. You know, it's funny, too. They could have played Stan Lee into the whole Celestials Eternal thing because we saw him talking to the Watchers in Guardians of the Galaxy Yeah, too. that's true. So, technically, he was a servant of the Watchers. Uh, they also filmed a, a lot of scenes with Stan Lee for future cameos that they haven't used. I wonder if they're just saving those for prime time. Because think, think about I, it again, Eternals was just a build-up movie. Like I don't Eternals was kind of like Venom One. No, it was just kind I, of a build-up. If they really did, they would already be. They would have already been. Yeah. Been, Stanley died in what twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. it's been for three, four years now. I, I think we. Yeah, it, Endgame yeah. was his last cameo. Was it Endgame? No, it was uh, or was Ultra, Spider-Man uh, Ultron. Bullshit. No, it was not no, 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 Civil War, Civil War, Civil War. No, like his final cameo. No, dude, he was, was in the... Uh, no, nah, he was in the he bus was. in Infinity War. But he was in Endgame, too. Oh, well, he was in Endgame. He was, when they went back in time to the camp, he was driving that Ferrari. Yes, yeah, he, he was. was. The bus yeah, yeah, I, I was like, what the fuck yeah. are you guys yeah. talking about, dude? Endgame came out of... My boy said <laughs> Ultron, so... <laughs> Make love, not war. He literally screams that it's out. It's okay, Endgame came out in 2019. You can edit that exactly. out. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. Holy shit, it's been th- two years since are you, you guys, Are you guys even fans? What the fuck? Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah. I said Infinity War and Endgame. No, I said it again, too. I so said, I said, you said Infinity War. Well, you were both like... Civil War, old time. I was like, the fuck, what year are you guys in? I could have sworn it was Civil War, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, nah. you can go off. Anyway, go ahead, Nick, go ahead. Thank My you. Bad. Thank you, Shush. No, it's okay. It's okay. What the fuck? I... 
Oh, oh <laughs> no, she confirmed it too. I said even I knew, but oh, okay. oh, you're being sassy. Uh, you sassy. Shy's always sassy. Yeah. yeah, begin. Thank you. Kingo's my favorite character. Out of course, of all, you always out of all out of all the characters. You always movie. love yeah. the funny comedy. Yeah, yeah. Guys. you you guys you know should know me boy. by now. Kingo's my boy. But anyway, you know, what's not to like about him? He shoots little orbs out of his out of he his did fingers. That in the He's, final fight. He he was well, like he, he literally did, did like he the pew, 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 out pew, of pew, the pew, final pew. fight. I'll get to, I'll get to that point. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. He's, little bitch. <laughs> he literally embraced. He literally embraced the call to human society and literally ran a Bollywood empire. He uh, like portraying as himself like that's my great grandfather, that's my grandfather, that's my father, and that's me. But um, he's hilarious. And I, to your guys' point though, him like skipping out on the final fight, he. His reasoning for that is because is that he was loyal to Icarus and that he believed that the emergence should have happened. But at the same time, he wanted to make he, another uh, what's that movie he was going to make? Documentary? Or you know how he made like a like a something Ninja no, 5 I mean, or something. I, I see what you're getting something at. like that. But he, no, he, he 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 had love and Mutual respect for all of the rest of the Eternals, so he wanted to stay out of it. Well, in the end, yeah, he basically he couldn't get himself to fight his his, his, yeah. his original. I mean, family. I feel like yeah. he Loki kind of commit to it, so that's why he left. I he feel left. like he Loki yeah. kind of knew Icarus was gonna do some do some stuff. So I mean, because wasn't it like so he agreed with the Celestial being born? Like he disagreed with the way Icarus went about it, but he also was like, "Well, who are we to judge the Eternals?" That yeah. was his thing. He was like. So Which is kind of, I mean... Well, think of... Uh, he also was like, we're we're saving this planet, which is preventing billions upon billions of lives being born. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I could be an actor in all he of these the, other universes. He, he, saw the, he saw it at the grander scale, right? He was just like, pretty much like... Um, they were in the then and now. He was in the future aspect. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's, like, it's like, I was like, okay, you... Like, what is it? You kill one person, but you save a billion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like, okay... It's, you you kill this one planet, but then you have all these other planets that are gonna grow. So that so I was that's what I said. Like I respect his logic. Um, I still think he should have stayed, but you know who am I to judge? Yeah, I mean that's true. less uh, that's but, less people to control on a screen. And uh, and he, I will say this, I don't think it's gonna happen, but I want it to happen. I want a Kingo and Karun spinoff show. Uh, I okay, so I think Karun is a um scroll. Really, I think he's a scroll. Well, think about it. He was because the point of him being theory, there because was the human aspect. You think he's a scroll? When you saw the dead deviant, when they got to Gilgamesh, he's oh, like, yeah. "What a beautiful creature! Like, what a beautiful creature! What are you mad?" And then, so in the comics, scrolls actually evolved from deviants. Interesting. That is true. So I and I heard this theory somewhere else, but I kind of believe it. I kind of think Karun's gonna end up being because also think about it. He he stuck he had, with them through the whole like he had too much screen time just to be the humanitarian aspect of the film. True. Yeah, yeah. He had too much screen time. Just, like yes, he was like the comic relief, and, and but that and was that's also a whole Kingo. Other issue. Kingo but, was also the comic relief. Yeah. So they they, they really. And homeboy didn't die. Him, right? And he didn't die. Somehow. You know what I'm right. So it's just like, I think he I think he might be a scroll. And uh well, I mean we'll we'll see that in I guess Eternals 2. Yeah. Uh a TV show would be pretty cool. Like a prequel, anything like that. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, um, but um Yeah, I, I liked Karun, I liked Kingo a lot. I'm well, didn't make... Kingo get pulled by Agrigor at the end? So how could he they did do get a, pulled how could up, they do a spin off if Homeboy's not even there? Oh, you're right, you're right. Ash, uh, Erisham did. And who knows? Oh, and yeah. And who knows right. when did Erisham, Erisham, return did Erisham pick up Sprite? No. No, because no, Sprite's cause not Sprite, a she's human. She's Sprite's human now. Yeah. yeah. She still has her powers, though, but she's human. Does she? Yeah, she still has her powers. Oh, really? She still has her powers, but dude, I just kept getting Loki vibes off that girl. They, I mean, they're very yeah, similar yeah. Uh, aesthetic wise. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. Not like what, Loki, what Loki, do, you know but what I'm saying? Like, like Loki Lo ability wise. Loki, yeah. Loki can do illusions and all that shit. Different, different though. If you notice though, when Sprite did her illusions in the first fight with like, well, in the first fight in modern day with the Deviant, mm -hmm. she her her copies 
you can like swipe through them. Like they're not tangible as opposed to Loki's Who's projections. Are, yeah. They are tangible. Yeah. So here's the so, thing. I mean, different source of power. Is Sprite. But... The, you think their Sprite's gonna be part of the next Avengers? Fuck or Sprite, bro. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Fuck Sprite. <laughs> All right, let, let's, right. Let's, let's. I didn't right. really like Sprite either. Sprite, at all. Sprite, Sprite. Yeah, Sprite, Sprite did not deserve. Rat. Sprite did not deserve a happy ending. I mean, she she, she literally stabbed, stabbed Cersei. Cersei in the back over some dick, bro. Which is some Loki. You don't do that shit. I mean, Sprite. She is dealing with that she's a thousand year old being who's still trapped who's a child. in a fourteen year old. Yeah. She can't go hit the club up even though she's probably older than everybody in the club. Yeah. yeah. She literally calls Karun young man. She she does she desires for that uh she to wants live to live a fucking proper life. She wants to be a grown up even though she's a thousand years old. <laughs> yeah. So she has to go back to grade school. She has to go back to boy, Oh yeah and, to, she, add up, like, and to add up school, to your protection middle thing. School. It's like <laughs> and King goes like, Oh, oh and you can develop your social skills. Oh wait, you didn't think yeah. you needed those. Sprite <laughs> Sprite, you know, whatever. Whatever. Maybe she'll have more value later. Who knows? Yeah. Uh the real villain I thought of the film, which me and Adrian were talking about this earlier, was uh Druid. We really, th- I, re- I, I thought he was really gonna, thought I thought he, he was, was going to be the villain. Villain. I thought really he was going to be the He can right. control all of Earth's population, but he might also have the ability to hey, that control an eternal. That sick ass leather jacket, though. That was cool. That, that was that's nice very cool. Yeah. No, but I, I thought think, Druid was going to end up being a bad guy. Because from the trailers, when he comes out in like, his cult thing, his facial expressions, his facial too. expressions is just like, oh, So to, to raise a question yeah. to that, do you think Makari was the one that like kept him from going off the edge? No, I think I think I think he was yeah. doing stuff for no, her. It, no, because when you had that, when they all separated, he desperately actually did love humanity. Yeah, I, I think he just looks like that. <laughs> Just, yeah. He just has a resting, <laughs> resting, resting, resting evil, evil bitch face. Resting evil bitch face. Yeah. <laughs> the bowl cut and the resting evil face. But, uh, yeah, like, he I truly honestly loved did, loved he truly humanity. did love humanity. Yeah. And his powers were also, uh, you know, kind of like, we always think of mind control centered around with evil yeah. powers. So he was just kind of set up. Also, so one thing I want to point out, I want to say, right? So I, I, I've seen a lot of people complaining that like, oh... He took he he mind controlled the people in Tenno Cheat Land and then we find them later in the Amazon rainforest, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are assuming that in the Marvel universe Tenno Cheat Land was in the Amazon. No. I I mean I assumed that what it meant is that they migrated down there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. They walked up. Uh, that makes more logical sense to me. I mean, he has these people. He's had these people for thousands of years. Oh yeah. They're yeah. able to. It's not hard to believe that they migrated from Mexico. It's a long trek. Don't get me wrong. You got to go through all of Central yeah. America and like majority of South America. But so, I I understood it that way that they just moved down to South America. It was America. also through like un, un like un. Wait, so where were they in the end? When they caught up a druid, they were no no when when they all separated, they were in Mexico. I don't know, but what clan was that? What, what those were the Mayans? Yeah, that was no, the no, Ma- no no those were the Aztecs. 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 Yeah, they Aztecs. were fighting the Spaniards. Yeah, oh, you're right. Cool. They were in Tenochtitlan. It said that they were in Tenochtitlan. Oh, okay. So they were like by like Ciudad Mexico. Did you guys, did you guys okay. like that they started with the Aztecs and you know like that was the what they chose to do? Do you think they could have chose like another civilization? I mean, again, as a fucking as a as so as a Mexican, I was like, y'all really did us dirty, then motherfuckers. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because after that, and historically, when you look at it after. All of the European countries came into the Americas. Sort of everything just skyrocketed in terms of development. You know, I mean that's when they said gang let's split up. They pulled uh, the Scooby Doo. That's like <laughs> in the, that was like in the fourteen hundreds, right? In the they industrial, did. Yeah, they they did. Did. industrial the revolution the happened like in the seventeen hundreds yeah. 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 in, in, in England. 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 Yeah. So or was it eighteen hundreds? Eighteen. No, seventeen hundreds. No, yeah. So I mean, a, a couple hundred That's years they after put that, that steam engine. In the, in the so work. do you think did <laughs> they put that did shit they to work, baby? So they wiped out all the deviants when the Neanderthals were there. When it was just the Neanderthals, right? No, 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 no. no. So they didn't. They finished wiping out the deviants in ten in, when, in, in ten because um, that, that, that's when just, they, that's why when Arrow the the Aztecs are being attacked, all the Eternals weren't there yet. Yeah, because they were handling the last Icarus few. and Athena. Yeah. No, I think it was just Icarus. I forgot who else. 
It was well, Icarus the, and Kingo. Yeah, that, that weren't around. They were around. around. They were around. They were the last, the last, the last Yeah. yeah. Right. And then after that, that's why Ajax was like, okay, well, like, let's just split. Just go. Go on. Leave. Shoot. Would you guys have liked to see Makari been more involved? Like, she was just kind of in the shit the whole oh, time. Oh, yeah. She'd run out, grab something cool, and then she was like the, she was like the uh, first. I think, she no, was the original the, thief. She would run out, steal something, and fly away. She was the Tomb Raider. Basically. And Angelina Jolie's in the movie. But no, literally, she's like the world's mysteries of like, oh, why did these certain things have disappeared? That was her. World? That, that was, was her. her. Yeah. yeah, it's like where are all these things? That's Miss Macari. Well, you guys, <laughs> Macari also a place where you can buy shit online. <laughs> I mean, would you guys like? Would you have liked to see her be more involved in the film? I think in the future film, we're gonna, we're gonna. I, uh, well, I, I now think, she's kind of like a main character. You know, were you guys expecting her to be on the ship the whole time? <laughs> no, no, I honestly did not expect that. I thought she would have just stayed in Mexico. But I, I thought she was just chilling somewhere. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, no, I. But, uh, how she ain't on TV there? That's crazy. <laughs> that is uh, like you make it that, work, and the world is ending. It's like. Oh, it's like I, you know, you know what I just realized? You don't know what an iPad is. <laughs> you don't know what an iPhone is. And it's funny because she was, she still looked like she had like, modern clothes you, on you, though. And she did. I mean, she probably like, took some, you know, here and there. I mean, she, she was the one that had a unique like love for the humans, which is through the stuff that they made through their own devices. Yeah, she, that's yeah, why, yeah, that's she, really why she stole. She had what? Like she had a Excalibur. She had. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a bunch of Easter eggs. In she there. had a coffin yeah. in yeah. the lab. Like when that. Yeah, I, think that was, I think that was the Pharaoh's coffin. Yeah, yeah. 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 That was probably like King Tut or something. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> when it goes on Disney Plus, I would love to like just pause and, and just look at all the stuff. stuff is they also there. had yeah. a box of Twinkies in there, no? She had yeah, like which I thought was weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I like, like Twinkies are back. Right? Yeah, with Drew and Icarus. I mean, but they literally switched it out. I was like, why did the X so shady with that? Maybe it's the original Twinkie recipe. Maybe. The the term Agrigor brought Twinkies. Wait, didn't they just say <laughs> didn't back then they Mind say they switch the format of how making Twinkies? So when Twinkies got shut down and then they and then, and then they came back. And so they a came company back, bought them. Yeah, the formula was slightly different than original. Oh, then Twinkies. maybe that was the original Twinkie. <laughs> I miss I miss OG yeah, Twinkies. I, yeah, so she, in a bite. You know Literally. They I never loved them. <laughs> they loved humans for human like behavior. She loved them for the shit for the stuff they made. And that's like just a, a different turn that I didn't expect her to have. Um, so let's get into like Icarus, you know. Uh, what about Icarus? Like, <laughs> what about Icarus, Icarus bro? He, he he that fool got bitch. everything he fucking deserved. He flew yes. too close to the sun. Oh, and, and he, he flew into the, the sun. So into can't even sun. use that. <laughs> that's a whole point. I mean, did you think his like betrayal was needed for them to stop the Eternal? For them yeah. to stop this last year. No, sure. basically the only reason he no he like that whole plot was there is to make it to make it not look so easy to stop the yeah because the deviants yeah. were just kind of done right? yeah they, yeah, they would have killed the yeah. deviants. Crow got fruit ninja, so you know the rest. <laughs> what we need someone else. So they yeah. needed like another one, but the but to be and honest, Sprite, the, Sprite's just a simp. So uh, Sprite, Sprite yeah, really, she was just sipping. Welcome, bro. Dude, I just like it how the most two weakest um, Eternals literally knocked each other out. Well, Druid knocked out Sprite. Uh, that's true. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just a rock. Yeah, she got. She didn't know how to dodge. She... So, <laughs> thousand year old Eternal, <laughs> thousands of years didn't know how to dodge. Dodge. If you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. Uh, huh? we were, we were a it. rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you guys think about the CGI? I think it was on point. I think it was good. The only issue was just Crow. Like to be honest, Crow looked weird I at thought... the final four. Yeah. <laughs> Look. I will say, like, the majority of the demon fights were in the dark, obviously, because it makes the CGI easier to animate. So, but that I think hurt they my spent, eyes, they bro. They spent most yeah, of it. Dude, it would go to a dark fight scene, and right after, boom, the sun's up. I was just like, oh my Did God. Did I stay up till 5 a.m. gaming, bro? What's this light coming in? Uh, They definitely spent 90% of their budget on Agrigor. Like, homie, Arisham, was just, you keep calling him Agrigor. I keep calling him fucking Agrigor. Yeah. Arisham. The Arisham, judge. Arisham, the judge. Arisham. The judge. Arisham. 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 I don't say that times. Spell it. His head. Is, <laughs> he, he's got like a like a Lego head, but it's okay. A Lego head. Also, but so it, one thing I about to see that. one yeah. thing about Arisham that I, I didn't the, realize. Lego Kiadi Mundi. One thing about <laughs> Arisham that I didn't realize until afterwards, somebody else pointed it out. Is that if you look at his armor, it's damaged. That's like, what I was telling Ryan. Yeah, dude, like when, fight, when you first see him yeah. with uh, Ajax, yeah. he's like clean, like no nothing falling apart. He just looked perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when Cersei 
Me too. He looks, he looks you tired. see, like, you, yeah, you see shit falling apart. His face is all fucked up. Maybe he's on a brawl with Galactus. That's a, that's yeah, a my good boy, point. My boy, in the fourth quarter, he's, he's dying, know. bro. He ain't he no fourth quarter, bro. <laughs> my boy's losing some level pieces. My boy doesn't look so good. He was no fourth quarter Brady or what? He ain't no fourth quarter Brady. So... I don't think he's dying. I just think he probably got in a brawl. Maybe maybe he got in a fight with like Galactus or somebody. Could be. Yeah. Like who? You know, Galactus is supposed to be set up as the big villain. Maybe the it's judge like is years. the one that helps assemble the team to beat him or something like that. Yeah. Could be. I or, mean. Because Galactus destroys the universe. The judge helps the universe grow. So, you know, you well, would Galactus, think they'd be in. So, okay. So it's kind of the same. So Galactus consumes cosmic energy, uh-huh. right? So he, because he's just hungry. My boy needs his gains. He needs that protein. He needs that protein powder. He needs power. that protein And power. also on top of that, he's bored. But, <laughs> yeah. um, and Eternals, right? Like, they use the same concept of, like, life force to build more Celestials. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that... it could be said that, like, it's like, hey, yo, stop eating my fucking planets, bro. My Celestials aren't being born, you know? Why are you in my be. turf, bro? Why are you in my <laughs> turf, homie? <laughs> and then, uh... Then we then remember what, uh, when but you watch this movie. But I will say, movie. I would love to see Celestial on Celestial fights. Like I mean, that'd be I, like Godzilla King it'll, Kong. It'll, you it'll, want to watch a Celestial versus Celestial? Watch Gurren Laga, the final you fight. Know what? I do have there, to you there you go. <laughs> uh, I, your Celestial versus I don't Celestial. even care if it's not like a uh, uh, Galactus. Like as long as like Eris. So and do you some think other Eternals brother. Two is gonna capitalize on that more, or is I, he yeah, just gonna be kind I of? I will say there's a there's a size discrepancy though. I mean. They would have to explain it because in Guardians One, right, we see a celestial destroying that planet with a power stone, right? Yeah. Um, I forget, I forget that, I forget that celestial's name, but I just know he's like the destroyer. He was clearly walking on the planet, so I don't know if it's a, maybe just back then they 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 weren't sure how well big they can they, were they can up. change their but size. I'm, I'm assuming they can change their size. I mean, Galactus can change his size. He can usually likes really? to stay big though. Yeah. No, yeah, they can change their size to whatever they want to be. Oh. Uh, yeah, also, I mean, we've also seen another celestial uh, nowhere with the Ted. Yeah, that celestial. That's yeah. A, that's, so we know that celestials can die. So yeah, yeah, yeah just because we've killed. They, I mean, they killed ego. Every so. everything in the MCU can die because Stanley did not believe in immortality. But, but, but then everything can come back. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, they, they won't. Die, they they, they won't die there. of old age. They won't get sick. They won't get like. Any of that stuff, they, they won't got, get Alzheimer's. They got, any they of got stuff. the Dragon Balls. But if you have strong enough <laughs> stuff, they will die. I was about to say, unless you're a what's your face. Uh, so Adrian, what, what, to, are the, what, what is story again? Oh, oh, I'm glad you brought up being like an Asgardian. Oh, there we go, an Asgardian. I'm glad you brought up <laughs> the older story, you get, the stronger. You get. It is. It is. It's directly s- stated that the Eternals are friends with the Asgardians. Yep. which makes sense. When you look at Sprite's little like show during Mesopotamia, way before the Vikings, we see Viking ships in their little show. Yeah. So maybe that's just a representation of the Asgardians. Because remember, we see Kingo say, like, oh, Thor used to hang out with me when he was a baby. He wouldn't let go of me. And now he doesn't return my calls. Yeah. So, <laughs> and in the comics, in the comics, the, it, the Celestials created the Asgardians. So maybe, maybe I'm not sure about this comic wise or anything. So Thanos is a son, is a son, son of, of, a, of a of an eternal. Two maybe, two eternals. maybe ancient Asgardians were similar. Uh, yeah, probably, I mean, most I, likely. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Um, do we, do we just want to talk about Eros at this point? Eros. Well, basically, I wanted to hear yeah. since Adrian's the main artist here. Uh, Eros of the CGI man. Well, CGI. Did you think? Dude, like, the fight scenes, like with uh, the turn, like Icarus event with everyone, I thought it was clean. I thought it was great. Good, bro. Yeah. Like the whole fight scene, the showing, technology, uh, the speeding. Like, then showing was like Makari's speed, like her future, like the her CGI past life. and sound bites in this exactly. movie were very the good. The sound design was amazing. Yeah. I was impressed by it. There was a few CGI moments that I do agree with Luis, like. They were in the dark to make them easier. Yeah. But also to show that homage, like, kind of, like, you know, dark is also yeah. kind of associated with evil. So maybe yeah. with the demons yeah. pairing, it was, you know, uh, evil. Uh, but, yeah, I definitely agree that I did not like that. Like, it'd be a dark scene. Boom, boom the sun's out. Like, I'm like, mother. 
<laughs> I would like to also point out since we're talking about like sound design to, uh, to wrap that up the, 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 the songs like there wasn't too many like actual song songs used in the movie but the ones that they picked was great like at the start they start off with Pink Floyd's Time yeah which is just like I mean that song onto itself is a fucking trip um, and that kind of you know leads into it and then at the in the after credit scene with Eros they play it feels like the very first time which plays into him in the comics. How his his power in the comics is literally he has the ability to make anybody horny, on command. Yep, that's fucking his. That's his power. What do you want me to say? That's his literal. That's literally his. He. He's, that's why he's so like. Uh, that's why he's so charming. That's yeah. why he chose Harry Styles. Well, that's baby. like one of it's his. Uh, that's one right of there. his powers. That's a that's a Harry Styles' yeah, power too. I'll, I'll give you that. Harry I'll Styles also has the yeah. ability to just make anybody just fucking ready to go. Yeah. Um. But <laughs> point is. The, the song also it feels like a very uh, feels like the very first time very applicable to Eros's character and then also the fact that you know they, they that the Eternals they reset right they reset so it's always like the first time it's always the first time you know yeah I will say we've said this in a lot of other podcasts but Black Panther was really the pop off when they started dropping banger soundtracks you know Sean Guardians was, bro Guardians well, Guardians, 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 Guardians bro. Two. No, Guardians won. What Guardians, are you talking well, about? I was gonna say Guardians won. Okay. They had the best. They had the best. Well, I know. I thought. Um. Well, you know, like obviously that too. Like Shang Chi was really good as well. You know. You know. I mean, okay. Who was? I mean, which one I mean, has Black the best Panther, soundtrack? Black Panther has the best soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Guardians, Guardians were really good too. Like they. I like Guardians two and then. I don't Guardians like Guardians two's uh, mixtape. I like Guardians mm-hmm. one mixtape. Yeah. 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 I can. I can. I'd say that the. Maybe I'm mixing them up. Okay. Better. Anyways. <laughs> So this well, probably a, am, yeah. I think Guardians, Guardians one. one has had a uh, what's the fucking song? Ooga chaga, ooga. <laughs> Hooked on a feeling. <laughs> Hooked on a feeling. Yeah. I was gonna say I got a feeling, but that's a Beatles song. <laughs> <laughs> they should have used that. I mean, song. that was like a ooga ooga. That is true. <laughs> so I thought that's what you were gonna say. No, I was talking about the Beatles song. Yeah, one question that was probably the biggest spark for debate within all the reviews and everything, and among all the other YouTubers, was that this movie did not feel like an MCU movie. So if they took out Marvel, the Marvel intro, the Marvel name tag on it, would you still think it's an MCU movie? MCU movie, or would you just like... think it's another no? I think they did. no, movie? they did because they they mentioned too many things that include are literally about the Marvel universe. Yeah, yeah. The snap. So, Thanos, who's leading the Avengers? The, yeah, like all that, all that stuff, and then the and the end. I'm Thanos' brother. <laughs> it's just it didn't have. It wasn't your your action. It wasn't a Marvel action, action film. Movie. That's the thing, which I like because I think Marvel's trying to <laughs> expand upon not just being an action series. Well, they're trying to show that we're not just fighting movies. We can also do storytelling. Yeah. And they kind of they kind of started doing that with the with the shows, right? You know, if you look at Wandavision and you look at Loki. Yes, there's action scenes, but those two shows necessarily are more story con- story driven, c- c- uh, thought pieces in a way. Yeah, well, a lot yeah. of people said, and one thing that I kind of semi agreed with was it would have been cool if they, like, let's be honest, we are now introducing new characters. We are branching off. Some people are still hanging on to the OGs. Yeah. So if they showed something like two. there was an Eternal New York ability. You know, an Iron Man saved them, didn't know who they were, like a split second. Or they were walking around and they see people just get snapped away. Another two second flashback. Like yeah. I feel like that would have drawn more people into this is the MCU. Because let's be honest, only the Marvel nerds know what the Eternals are. But that's the beauty about the MCU. Though, you exactly. Can, you, can, you can introduce these characters that are only the, the biggest of nerds can know. And they'll, they'll create a version that's palatable and easy to digest. And to quote um, an amazing movie, um, Episode Eight, The Last Jedi. Oh no, my God! God. No, 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 no! Episode Eight, no. The Last Jedi. Like Kylo Ren said, Ugh. you have to let go of the past, kill it if you must, and to kill Tony Stark because we're done with that. We're done with the OG Avengers. We're moving forward with a new you, set. You know what's funny? Uh, I think I don't know if the poster's still episode there. Episode Nine. That's funny. Uh, that too, but <laughs> but I remember somewhere in like in Hollywood or around the area I work, there was a oh, giant poster that said "Bring back Tony Stark." <laughs> I think we'll get. Tony I mean, Stark he could come back in like a cameo for not a cameo Maybe or cameo. like a, a Cause, flashback because like I know he's I know he's done too. Like yeah, Robert doesn't want to do it anymore. 
Yeah. I say Robert like I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, my boy, Robert. Robert. So, what did Gosh. you think, Murph? Did you think that it was, that you could still tell it's a Marvel movie? Like, obviously, you know, the stuff where they bring up Thanos even in the trailer. Uh, without all that stuff, like, if you just cut that stuff out, too, would you still think that it's a Marvel movie? Well, first of all, we are never bringing up episode eight of Star Wars again. Beautiful movie. No, it's, it's not. right movie. Oh, we'll bring it up in the yeah, do not rant. Yeah, fighting no, 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 it's not. Um, anyway, <laughs> do you want me to show I, you the proof? <laughs> I think that it was it was a good Marvel movie. It wasn't a great Marvel movie. It had it had the potential to be like an all time great Marvel movie. And the first two acts of the movie portrayed that. However, I do see where the critics were saying that they didn't have an approval for this movie because of the last act. Because I mean, I, I literally I, think it has like a 56 on Rotten Tomato. Yeah, which, obviously, like, we don't listen to them, but... Man, no. the, I mean, the audience score was like a B. Yeah. Yeah, which, I mean, the last fight scene and everything else like that kind of like was all over the place for me at least you know what i mean like the the <laughs> plot was like being juggled and everything like that and i i just I, it, like not to say that i didn't like it i did it's just that could it have been better i think so i don't yeah. think it could have been better literally we're back on the stage of marvel where we don't know what's coming next. We don't True. know what's happening. True. So right now yeah. we're just on a filler I mean, stage. Honestly, if we're on like the build up. If, if you, we're if, just back to square yeah. one of a build up. If yeah, you go like back we're... to the original movies, if you go back to Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, oh, God, Thor, Thor, and Captain America, those are a movie. I mean, those are solid B movies. That's, aside from Iron Man 1, Iron Man 1 was just fucking amazing. But like Thor, eh, it's not that great. Um, Incredible Hulk, while I love it, I it has like it. <laughs> I love that movie. It's also not the best movie. Captain America: The First Avenger, again, fun, <laughs> not the <laughs> greatest movie. I think it's a waste. He's oh, just I'm he's just dumpster firing <laughs> I mean, all the Iron Man, Iron Man Two. Kind of, I mean, if it, were, if it were for <laughs> Iron Man Three, Iron Man Two would be the worst Iron Man movie. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Iron Man I only really liked Iron Man 2 because of War Machine. And this goes back to what we were talking about the last time where, like, Marvel, like, honestly has a lot of duds. And, like, a lot of the earlier movies are duds, bro. I mean, you can't blame them because this is when they were barely starting Well, that's what I'm saying. New. So, yeah. I think we have to be leaning on them right now because, again, we're restarting. We're restarting. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, they're doing restarting. these build-up movies. They're introducing these characters that 90% of the people don't we're know. We're in a new saga. Meanwhile, you know DC, DC's been restarting more times we're in than the, Marvel. Yeah. Yeah, as as we were in the Infinity Saga, I think now we've entered the Cosmic Saga. I think that's what this is going to be called. I mean, it's obvious because we're you guys expanding so way expanding more into space, space and, then, and time. And they'll yeah. probably bring it back. Diana and X-Men popular. comes out later. And all of a sudden, Garatina pops out. Garatina pops out. Okay, <laughs> let's get into it. Luis has been trying to say this since we started this Leia, podcast. Leia's going to force pull. Harry, oh, Harry Styles. Harry motherfucking Styles, bro. In the MCU. Let's go. You know, so first they kind of hinted at, you know, there's probably more Rogue Eternals out there. Because they're like, we got to let him know. And then he just comes through. He's like, yo, we already know what's good. And he, he kind of, you know, it's his little gremlin. Hey, pip the troll, ass. baby. Pip the troll. Patton yeah. Oswalt voice in Pip That guy's OP, homie. Yes. Yeah, that guy's amazing. Yes, Patton yes. Oswalt, giant Marvel fan. I am so happy that he got a role in this movie. Because he's a giant nerd. Have you, I don't know if you guys have yes, seen he is. his yep. filibuster yeah. for Parks and Rec. Where he goes off this whole thing how you can include uh, uh, Marvel, Star Wars, and the X Men all in the same. You gotta go watch the Pat and Oswald filibuster. It's so much fun. But uh, Pip the Troll, uh, Star Fox, so Arrows. Here, here's Harry just Style, here's Harry just a guess Star. question. Uh, the Smash Bros. Star Fox. Yes. <laughs> here's just a guess question. We saw him there in the end credit scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think he's gonna tell them? What do you think? Like, you think he's gonna lead them, help lead them he, to other Eternals? What do you think? No, he's no. Gonna first do? thing he's gonna do is steal Druk's girl. Alpha's gonna try to fuck uh, Macari <laughs> and Tina, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you already know he's gonna try and tap. Alpha's gonna try to fuck Tina. everybody in the book. <laughs> so what do you what do you think they're gonna? What do you think? You know, the script, baby. 
So they led the premonition that more Eternals could have gone rogue, more Eternals yeah, yeah. are out there. I he, think, he pulls up, he's like, yo, it's true. So proving all our suspicions. So I think, what do you think's the next I step? I think he's going to go help save. So, okay, actually, the director talked about how there was an... Ex- no, no, not the director. Makari herself, the actress, in an interview, she said that there was an extended version of that scene where they actually contacted Erisham together. Really? And and pretty much yeah, cause trying to the track him too. down. Trying to track him down so they can save Cersei and the other Eternals that he has. So he told them that they got mm-hmm. taken by... So pretty much, I'm pretty sure that he's going to help them in Eternals to track down Erisham. And then as well as three other Eternals. Uh, three other Eternals. I think, I think they're going to... Like I said, like I alluded to some other things that they talked about. Future plot league, future plot. Yeah, in, ca- in case you guys I didn't think... know, that Ellen Luis's name stands for leaks because he likes finding. I love them. leaks, bro. <laughs> um, so pretty much, I, I think it's gonna end up being the sort of bait and switch situation where they're gonna have to end up helping some celestials. Yeah. Um, whether against other rogue celestials or if it's Galactus, who knows? Um, but I think pretty much Eros's whole pr- point is to help rescue the other Eternals that were kidnapped. Eternal that. Yeah, and I would assume that <laughs> not. Eternal I would assume that. not every Eternal is gonna go rogue. Maybe yeah, I mean, like I would assume some Eternal. Maybe are like if there's ten on Eternal each planet, Eternal. maybe like two or three from each group. Yeah, and then also Cause every celestial. Or eighteen Eternals. Every celestial has their own Eternals too. You have to also think about that. Yeah. Yeah. You no. Know? Who true. has the most and the most powerful? It's, it's true. That's a. That'd be an interesting debate it's the for another NGU, time. Homies, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the NGU, man. But, uh. Nerds got a universe. <laughs> nerds, nerds, nerds got a strong desire for episode 8. What uh, do you think, Adrian? No. <laughs> no. About, I don't know about no. that. No. I, I, liked, I liked 7 better, but anyway. What'd you think, Adrian, yeah. about uh, Harry Styles? That's the only Harry one that's Charles. I was Charles. like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> that's the first thing that popped into So, my actually, head. remember how I told you I, I had a spoiler? Uh, told to me beforehand that was a spoiler my friend yeah she, I know. she snapped me and she was all like oh my god harry styles is in the movie and i was like wait what keep is in she... mind this was like one of the one times he's not looking for leaks did, yeah, I and, did and they, get, look... they come to him anyway and they just come to me i didn't even look for this one and, and, and you just have bad and friends. it found you <laughs> well you know what I don't, look, look man it's not about knowing where you're gonna end it's about the adventure, getting the friends we made along the way. Okay. So, the one that spoiled the shit. <laughs> <laughs> How many? So obviously he. So they didn't find him. He found them. So that so also raises that, a question. That, that top, maybe the he. Tools. Maybe he's not alone either. Maybe so, he. Maybe his entire team, since he was the leader, you know, yeah. had, or maybe his entire team went rogue yeah, as well. Yeah, he. He. He clearly has the ability to track down other Eternals. Um, also, Pip the Troll. Yeah, I mean, he's got like the so, Master Ball coming out of his chest. You know? Pip yeah. the Troll's ability to tra- teleport in the comics is based off his time with the Space Stone. Yeah. Um, so I think that's also going to play into it more into, you know, Infinity Stone. We're still going to get something about the Infinity Stone. The Space Stone giving to uh, him. Know, right? <laughs> and then also, powers. if you look at it, like their teleporting thing, it looks like the Bifrost. So I think it's the same type of energy that he's using there. Um, it, it looked like there was crack. I wonder. I wonder if yeah, Captain. Bro, this, just raises, this just raises. This oh, yeah. just raises. They just party, bro. Does Captain Marvel know about them? Like this just raises. No, a lot of it raises questions, so many man. questions. Also, I think I think Pip the Troll and Arrow are also going to tie into Adam Warlock. Yeah, because Pip the Troll hung out with Adam Warlock a lot in yeah. the comics. So I think you know we're also getting we got Adam Warlock casted. Uh, we're going to get him in twenty twenty three. I'm excited for the for this cosmic fucking shit, bro. Me too. We're. I mean, basically. The whole first arc was kind of just Earth. Yeah. Earth, and then maybe, and then outside of the Guardians that, you know, Imagine and Captain Marvel, it was just door. Earth. Wouldn't it have been door. a trip if they just let Earth die? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. Oh, I also God. thought it was cool. I know we're getting a little off track, but I also that thought it was really cool. That would be pretty interesting. That would be like a more devastating loss than. I and, mean, uh, defeating than the Celestial just added like a fucking landmark. You know, his hands there, his head. Like, I, w- so I thought that yeah. that would have like evaporated. Nope, that's just there, man. I, I hope we. We get glimpses of that in either. So I think timeline. Is that going to be another nowhere? This is happening. This is happening right along the, the far from home, or like I think alongside no way home. No way home. I think home. both yeah. because you know far from home directly leads straight into no way home. So I think we'll probably get it referenced in Doctor Strange two for sure. Yeah. Or maybe even like in a small little news clip in in no way home. Um. So yeah, it's a new landmark. I thought. 
I thought they were. I thought the Celestia was gonna be in Stonehenge originally. Oh, that would have been good. But, but then no, yeah, it was in the middle of the ocean somewhere, which only really makes. I wonder. Sense. I wonder if. I wonder who's gonna start like making an evil lair there or something. Oh, it could be. It's a. I was like, so hard Imagine to explain. That shit, that shit revives one day. Just out of nowhere. Oh my oh, god, jeez. He's like, you thought I was done? That wasn't even my final form. So, oh, what did you think about Harry Styles, Mark? I didn't even know he was gonna be in it, to be honest. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, what the fuck like, is this? I was like, You're who, I was like who is this? Uh, and then start singing. Some, <laughs> and then some some girl oh, behind put us was like, on it, Oh my god, went, that's bro. Harry Styles. We're like, what? I'll put I'll put money on it. That he's like he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna sing, he's bro. gonna introduce himself as a Disney character. And then we're gonna get they're gonna get they're gonna get Ed Sheeran in there to just complete the trifecta. Oh my like Ed Sheeran in Game of Thrones. <laughs> that was so out of place, bro. Oh my god. That Find out that he lost his Where face. do you think where do you think they're going with this? Like do you think he's alone? Speaking do you out think loud. there's more? No, Speaking he's, out he's loud. definitely alone. You you don't think his other his other Eternals route? Because he was the leader. Yeah, he was all no, the Prime they, Eternal. They're, the rest of his group is, is loyal to... Um, Erisham? Erisham, yeah. You, you, think, sure. you think Homeboy's nah, alone? Nah, Homeboy fucked his, his, his teammates and like, yeah, I won't follow you teams. anywhere. <laughs> I mean, that just, that just raises the whole thing of like, <laughs> is he alone? Did others go rogue? You know, who's... Obviously, it shows, it confirms Certain that the, the going here. rogue is not like a... <laughs> The going rogue is not like a new thing, you know. Like I'm sure other yeah. planets, uh, Eternals have gone rogue, and who knows if, you know, the judge yeah, like took care of Biz or what. People out there. It just raises the question that they're not the only ones; that there's others out there, and I really like that. But the next thing we gotta talk about, someone I was not ready for to be leaked, <laughs> Woo! the Black yes, Knight. Sir! So this one, okay. hold up, we're gonna let Luis no, go that off one, on his I, I heard, rant. I heard about so, that. Yeah, so, okay, so that wasn't ago. even that wasn't even like that hidden because we saw like Dane Whitman. We and Dane Whitman was all over the trailers, and if yeah. you know the Black Knight character, you just already assume like, okay, yeah, that's the Black Knight. What caught me off guard was that they showed the Ebony Blade, like they really fast tracked it. Uh, they showed his his crest too on the ring. Yeah, yeah, so I thought that was it. I thought we were that was the only hint we were gonna get to his eventual becoming of the Black Knight. That final post credit scene really caught me off guard because I was like, oh, okay, so we're going full force on this. Um, so the Black Knight, for those who don't yeah, know, who, who's Black who's in Black the Knight? comics? Uh, so the awesome Black Knight guy. is an original person from like the, the time of like uh, Camelot and and yep. King Arthur. He fought uh, demons with his ebony blade. It it traps sort of it traps the He's souls of twins. <laughs> twin pretty I mean, kind of, and so the ebony blade is cursed. It, it traps the souls of everybody that that it kills, and it it, 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 it it's bloodthirsty, and it curses the Whitman lineage. So the original Black Knight was in Camelot. In the comics, the the vil- there's two versions of the Black Knight. One of them is a villain who is Dane Whitman's uncle. Maybe it was used to and kill demons. Could be, and so. This Black Knight that we're gonna get is is the the evil Black Knight's nephew, right? Dane Whitman is the good Black Knight, mm-hmm. and as we see in the end, a voice asks him, "Are you ready for that, Dan Wh- Dane Whitman?" And that is the voice of Blade, Blade yeah, played by Mahershala Ali. So I, think, which I think he's gonna knock that out of the park. Oh, I'm so excited for Blade. So clearly, it's gonna be um, the Black like he, Knight helping Blade um, hunt vampires or whatever. Yeah, so training. Yeah, training. Yeah. So basically, the Ebon Blade is cursed because, Ebony. or the Ebony Blade. So basically, it corrupts its hosts. It basically makes them bloodthirsty. Yeah, so it, it can drive them crazy. It corrupts their like their nobleness of killing only yeah. the evil monsters into killing everything. So he and Blade's like, "Are you sure you're ready for that?" Because he knows that it would corrupt him. And yeah. since he, you know, he's new to the scene. He's just gonna pick up the sword, and I feel like that sword would easily affect yeah. him. Whereas the thing, the thing is he would get training against it. The blade also can resurrect the holder. <laughs> yes, it can. <laughs> yeah, um, it also does not rust. It does not. It could cut through anything. And it this one looks like it's a ride, which is pretty interesting too. Which I'm actually yeah. kind of happy about that. Yeah. I don't think it can cut like vibranium. I don't know about that, but it could cut a lot of things. It could cut a lot of things, but I don't know. I mean, Icarus was like, "This is a vibranium table," and he hits it and breaks. So vibranium is very strong. That implies that that Fastos 
No, it was Fall Collection, Ikea. Yeah. That, that implies that Fastos helped Wakanda at one point. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. He, is he the original Wakanda? Who knows? Man. So, no, I mean, I think... I think... You know what happened? So, I think, you know, there's a whole meteorite. Right? That's where they got... He probably the taught them how to, mine, how to it. use it. How to mine it. Yeah. How to use it. I, I mean, how, the, how does a primitive species cut the most powerful metal in existence? Or one of the most powerful metals? The so, metal. back to the Black Knight. Um, Aesthetic. Do, do you think he's going to be a part of the next <laughs> Avengers, or is he just going to be doing his own thing? Yes, Blade, I think, I think Man, Winter, my, my boy said winter is coming. Winter is <laughs> I mean, coming. Think about it. So, <laughs> Black Knight, Blade, they also announced Werewolf by Night. I don't know if people know who Werewolf by Night is. They announced is. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. I mean, Moon Knight's yeah. being filmed. Oscar Isaacs is playing Moon, Moon Knight. Like, you know, Morbi- Morbius right is coming out. We're about to get a whole... That's a beautiful man, People are all man. focusing on the next Avengers, but we're about to get a whole dark scene with, like, vampires. That's what I'm really... Werewolves. Yeah. Dark the MCU you know, is about the demons. Is you know, we've, we've had references already to vampires multiple times. Yes, In Loki, there was, they, they mentioned vampires. Mm-hmm. We're getting Morbius. Like, the Dark Elves. I, the Dark Elves were vampires, MCU. kind of, no. They finally gave out who Captain Britain's going to be, so that's the whole other... That's the whole other team that they're going to Allegedly. Like, and that just brings up the whole thing as everyone's like, oh, the next Avengers or the next heroes. The, these, in comics, these have been like behind the scenes heroes. They're the ones doing like fighting, you know. <laughs> well, well, all the Avengers are fighting galactic well, threats. Also, They're like, oh, also, we'll take everything Don't worry about it. This is also <laughs> setting up Doctor Strange's team. Because Doctor Strange in the comics has a team of Blade, Werewolf by Night. So, okay, I get Frankenstein, King Tut. Like Ellen Luis is for leaks. Uh, Doctor, Sh- the, what we're gonna see in Doctor Strange Two is a team, but it's not the team you're expecting. Probably not. Oh my god, I can't, I, I can't talk about it. Shut not up, the Louise. time. I'll do a leaks video later. So what did Adrian? What do you think? They're real. <laughs> They're fake. You hyped for the Black Knight? You you? I'm hyped. I especially he, mainly for the actor. Is he getting a solo movie or is he gonna be in a movie together with Blade? Blade. Blade? He's gonna be in Blade. He's, he's gonna, gonna be with Blade. He's gonna be with Blade, like giving him like the whole training sequence. It's like, all right, I'm gonna help you control this. I Blade. mean, because Blade's like a badass. He's literally a vampire. Yes. Who killed yeah, because when I first saw the that end after after credit scene, I was like, oh shit, the the Blade just talked or what? And then I later find out that I was like, no, that shit was it blade. It was a blade. It was blade. <laughs> but it was blade. <laughs> we were we were conspiracy right after it ended. We were we talking about Nick Samuel. Fury. Yeah. Samuel or Nick Fury. Yeah, something like that. But yeah. no. Well, you know, he, but also I was thinking, you know, when we last saw Nick Fury, he's still in space. Yeah. On the so sword. Who, on a blade. <laughs> oh my uh, so, so who knows where Nick Fury is maybe he's back he's who knows chilling probably somewhere he's on vacation he's on vacation still he got dusted but yeah somewhere. like Blade it being Blade is awesome uh, what, what do you think about it Murph you know I assume do you know who the Black Knight was prior to this I I did not or like honest. Blade you know but, who Blade is right? oh yeah, yeah no, okay, I, you, I knew who Blade okay, was but, so but, what do you think about that whole thing coming as from just like a movie or like a movie expectation I, I will say this I do love the actor who is playing Blade now but that's where he went when I want us to see I, Wesley Snipes yeah I wanted to see Wesley Me Snipes too, play Blade, Blade. We, we got yeah. the multiverse now I want I want <laughs> Wesley back yeah, me I too. Want Wesley. I, lo- I love Wesley Snipes. So what? He committed like, tax fraud. Who hasn't? It's a- <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's no, I I am excited. <laughs> no, no. I am excited to see to see both the Black Knight and Blade in the in the movie. I I'm a history nerd. I love like the times of Camelot, King Arthur, everything about that. I am here for. But. I don't know if they're gonna have a movie or a show together. To for, be honest with Blade? you, Blade's, Blade's a movie. Blade's, Blade's a, movie. a movie. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, pretty, pretty I'm pretty sure Black Knight's gonna be in that. I'm movie. pretty sure the okay. Black Knight. It will be in the movie. Okay, and they're it, probably they're probably gonna have both until of next them. year, but it's next probably year. Gonna, oh, Blade yeah. comes out next year, right? Or did it get pushed back? Oh, I think not. I got pushed back. Also, we gotta look up. The, we gotta look up. The I think you know it's gonna be them two killing some badass vampires. That's yeah, probably, yeah. That movie's gonna Do, be you, sick. You think Morbius? we get Morbius? Morbius? Morbius versus Blade? I don't think they're gonna kill Morbius. That'd be pretty dope. Well, Morbius is also Sony. Well, yeah, I mean, if they keep their partnership deal, who knows? I feel, like they'll, extends, I feel like they'll keep extends past Spider Man and they 
play around. Shoot, they play around they with better Morbius and Blade. By the way, okay, I know we're getting a little off topic, but that Morbius trailer looks good, dude. That shit looks yeah, good. That movie's gonna be it, good. Yeah, it does. Yes. All right, so, right, what we, universe can, is can that we, one taking? I know dude was like, Let, oh my let's god. Let's get to our uh, final range real quick. Can we yes. actually no? Can we talk about the true villain of the movie? Oh yes, who's the true villain? The motherfucker stole a bike, bro. <laughs> oh my, my god. goodness. goodness. <laughs> He, I said, mean, he said giant bean in the sky. Nah, this bike, though. This bike is mine, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bike's how, mine now. He's like, this guy's bigger than planet Earth. Probably the sun, but he's I need like, this bike. Oh, shit, escape. nobody look at that. Look at that bike. Bro, bro, you know homeboy's been trailing that guy on the bike for a that hot fool, Yeah, he You t- already he saw know he wanted that bike. Oh. If anybody's confused, in the final scene when Erishan pops up and picks up the people after he leaves... There's a guy, if you look close, he runs up to a bench and he picks up his bike. I'm assuming he stole that bike because I don't, I didn't see him pull up. And in a, a oh, yeah, and yeah, 100%. He, he looks like bike. he was in a rush, too. Yeah, like, that motherfucker yeah, like And in bike. theaters, Luis, yeah. That homie had a Did that guy steal a bike? And everyone, the whole theater started dying. I was like, the he did. The movie it, had it ended. And then the motherfucker. <laughs> is, he, is he one of the next villains? Who knows? All right. All right, sorry. Go, go ahead he's, to the he's, final. He's the ultimate MCU villain. I don't know. Go is ahead, he, Ryan. Go to the, to the final. So, we'll start with humor. You know, what is your final rating? Did it go up? Did it go down? Did it stay the same? What do you think? Um, overall, the movie was good. Not great. It had potential to be great. But I would put it as I'd see it again. Because I I had to see it again to make sense of everything that I just saw the first time. Because it, it comes at you with a lot of information. Yeah, it's like almost three hours and they're just blasting stuff at you. Yeah. Uh, I think this movie, I think it'd be difficult to rate it below a, you know, uh, I'd see it again. Because when you think about it, the stuff they dropped, it's kind of like future importance. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like letting you know yeah. what it what the... You know, it's telling you about the sled store, just so you don't know what the... You gotta take notes on this Yeah, shit. just so yeah. you know, semi, what's going on. But I feel like this movie is gonna be, like, its rating is gonna go way higher. Like, I, later down the line, when stuff, when stuff yeah. starts coming together, when the second arc or is coming together. I literally had to see it a second time to take notes to make sense of what was going on. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, what'd you think about it, Adrian? Did uh, your rating go up or down? I, I Mine went up, like... I won't just see it again. I would actually buy it. I'll buy it. Honestly, yeah. Nice. I'll buy it. Because, you know, they do like deleted scenes and stuff. Maybe there's some that's, juice that's up in there. Oh, yeah. Or maybe, true. maybe like, like the I extended like the, end credit, or the, mm-hmm. one of the extended yeah. credit scenes there. You yeah. know, there might be some juice. Yeah. I, I, I It also, for me, it's a, it's a, I'd see it again. Maybe a button. That's a nice little steel case or something. That's, that's why I want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know that steel case is going to look you, real good. If you and your steel case. Bro, you, you, have no, cases, you have no idea, bro. Dude, I even you got that no Rogue idea. One steel case. And that, one's that was the a most nice beautiful one. one that I have. That was have. a hard one to get. And I have I have, a, I have the regular, I think, like, Target I got, Special I got Edition. The, I got the Infinity War steel case. I got the Endgame steel case. But I got you have the Black Panther steel case. you have the Infinity Saga oh, box. Oh, I don't need that shit. It's on a steel case. I don't have I want to see that. That, that box sick. is expensive. That, that shit was, sick. like, 300 bucks. Yeah, something. I mean, it's worth it. Like, I have a lot of steel cases, and I just wanted them all. Yeah, I think everyone's just, be- like, overall just I think- sh- shitting on it because... It was a lot of information. There wasn't a lot of fighting, which Marvel yeah. has been known for recently. Yes. Uh, no, the thing is, the other people that, I, that are complaining, I don't think they're Marvel fans. I mean, it's it's your first. It's your it's the critics that are really being so hard. It's on your it, first. Man. You know, it's your, yeah. it's putting your first foot in the water, like to see how cold it is. Like that's what this next arc is for the for the space. Yeah, uh, and I think people are just comparing it too much to Shang Chi, also. Um, but they're two completely different type of movies. You and know your what I'm a, your average Marvel fan is not gonna know the deep lore. Yeah, Shang Chi was like a, a family issue, mafia issue, <laughs> and then the turtle was a I'll whole galactic say, issue. Shang Chi was best. The best part of Shang Chi was the family dynamics, but I want yeah. more of that. So yeah. what do what do you think? What's your final ring release? Did it go up? No, yeah, 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 it went up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, I'd see it again for sure. One hundred percent, see it again. Maybe buy it. Uh, but one hundred percent, see it again. Uh, I think we all concur on that. I yeah. feel like this is one of those movies that it's like that you would watch before like a team up movie just to, so that you remember what the hell yeah. happened. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure, like four movies from now, maybe when Celeste, if, maybe when Eternals two drops, if, maybe that stuff will be more if, emphasized and make more sense for the average movie, more MCU watch. If I had to, like, you know, play devil's advocate and say one thing that maybe holds it back is it's 
tie into previous Marvel stuff. I was going to say, yeah. The you only, have to yeah. at least have seen Infinity War and Endgame to understand, you know, the blip and the Thanos references and all that. So in, in that sense, I understand how, like, you can't watch it just standalone. You have to have some knowledge. But other than that, I mean, it's still a great movie, I think. I also yeah. wish that the one thing Eternals could have added was, like, flashbacks to where they were just watching all these giant things happening like the first Avengers sad, yes, that's like right. all the Avengers were like oh fights. you mean like oh, oh I thought you meant like just like sad world events <laughs> yeah. well, that too like I wanted I, mean, I, I just I just wanted to see it like oh some of them were in New York just watching oh and New York being unfold. destroyed or yeah. Yeah. or the second one I mean, where they're just like Somewhere in the background watching Ultron taking control oh, their only reference to show how old they were was when to the Aztecs, yeah, yeah, and they yeah. keep referring no, way to that before a few that. Times, or way before, yeah, before that. You gotta, you gotta assume that with Ultron, they would have fucking intervened. No, I mean, there were no demons because Ultron there, was gonna kill everybody, though. I know, but in he was the gonna end, destroy all humans. I know, but well, in the I, end, I, he I wasn't assume, a deviant, though. I know they said the only rule they had was just the only the demon. If it was well, hey, hey, technically, right? Technically, the judge was like, "Yo, kill the dude." Thanos. The reason he looks like that, he looks like a giant purple nutsack, is because he has a deviant. They said, gene. yeah, no, it is. They said it. Uh, I think they called it a deviant fever. Or yeah, he like that. he, he, with he has a mutation. Disease. So technically, he was, I mean, he if we're being deviant. technical, that's what I deviant. said. He, she was a deviant. I was like, why didn't they stop it? He was. They should have. They sh- they, they should. But another scene that I was that I wanted to like, I wish they would have put on is like. Them walking around and people just started disappearing. Yeah, that's, that's I got oh, yeah, so their that, reaction to the yeah, snap. That would have literally took yeah. two seconds, at, or maybe maybe like five seconds yeah. at most. When and it would have just clicked. Maybe it's a deli- maybe, maybe it'll be a deleted scene. Like, or maybe because you know when what's I keep forgetting the guy's name, but the guy who's gonna be Black Knight and Cersei. Oh, like when he women? Had, yeah, when he asked him, asked her, I was like, "Why didn't you help the fight against Thanos?" And they should they could have hit a flashback right there. And everyone was like disappearing, yeah. or like when she, the final fight was taking place. She could have been the one that like Iron Man just briefly saved. Like he didn't, he just saw her as a normal human, and he just like saved saved her in like a group of people real quick, and then just flown away, even though she could have saved herself. So it's like they could have tried harder to connect it to the MCU. But to your point, at least I think they are trying to like move on. Yeah, move but on. Yeah, they're probably like just trying to how move many on. times like, can you like like Kylo bring Ren's in Iron saying. Man before the man's dead? Like. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah. Kylo Ren's dead. He... Yeah, sadly. They could have tried a lot harder to the MCU, um, but I feel like they didn't have to because like, this is what, like, this the first technical iteration into the cosmos of the MCU? Because Shang-Chi's still on Earth. All Shang-Chi did was... Well, Shang-Chi introduced, like, different dimensions, though. Well, Shang-Chi brought the Ten Rings, and it's like a heartbeat, so who knows what that connects to? Yeah, maybe another Eternal. Yeah, who knows? Uh, and then uh, Our Celestia. they were setting up that sets up yeah. the next Avengers. Meanwhile, the Eternals are their own yeah. thing. Because I mean, yeah, this like, is the second. This is truly the second film in Phase Four. Right? Isn't Shang Chi the first? Yeah, because Black Widow doesn't really count. Right, like right. it is, but it's not. But it's really not. Black Widow Unless like you want to count literally the ap- literally the only part of Black Widow that counts. Well, yeah, it's the after credit scene. You know, with and who Yelena. knows? You know, maybe they'll do it like after seeing the the reactions of how people were like, "Hey, how do you know this is even his empty?" Maybe in the next one they'll do more stuff like that, or maybe time will tell. Like maybe, we'll, like, we'll maybe they'll show time. a scene, a so show a scene with Arsham and it shows him like of them being there watching it happen but not so reacting. you know what maybe so, when Arisham is going to review their memories yeah, something like maybe that. that's something maybe that that's when they maybe he'll it. see them like helping the people out as they're getting dusted and shit like that because i mean i'm assuming the eternals didn't get dusted they're eternals are not living beat they're not living well famous, also so. when you think about it you know they hey, can't get involved technically maybe is that also why thanos knew he wouldn't disappear because when you think about and it... And would be able to ha- handle the snap of the it, Infinity it, it's, it wasn't a guarantee that Thanos wasn't going to disappear. Because he he just eliminated people at random. So techni- so how was he so sure he'd bro, survive? Man, imagine this snap and he disappears, bro. <laughs> he snapped. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like... <laughs> when you think about it, bro. That should have been a what if. What if yeah, that snapped right? himself? What if he snapped snap? himself oh, away, bro? I mean, Thor would have been like, um, okay, I guess. Like, <laughs> grabs the glove. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> <laughs> he comes back. He comes back. 
<laughs> he's, all, he's like, you thought you did something there, huh, bro? You thought you did that something, bro. Here, here you go again. <laughs> so, so, I think maybe when Eris is, like, viewing their memories. Because remember, the Eternals, they're not allowed to fight, but that doesn't mean they're not allowed to help, you know? Like, maybe they were helping the people help escape yeah. from New York, but not Who fighting. Knows? Yeah. Who, who, who knows? knows? I wonder if Druig's people disappeared. Oh, that'd be tough. I feel like with him, Marvin, he would have done something already, too. But he... they he That fool would have done a black... That fool would have done a Hawkeye. That fool would have... fool would have become a... A maybe, mercenary. Maybe he controlled maybe. Hawkeye. Maybe Ronan. that's why he was starting to Maybe he controlled yeah. Hawkeye. He was Ronan. Yeah. He made Ronan. <laughs> See, one thing this movie does great, like, as we just ranted for, like, ten minutes at the final rating, is that... It leaves a lot of like questions, questions, questions like what could happen, what, what will happen, Love yeah, it. what if. Literally, they put that series right before this. Yes. Um, and the second yes. part is, we're just down to our last movie, uh, Spider Man, and then we have a good That's break. What a hell of a movie, though! We're, we're gonna have oh, what a so long be break. A great we're gonna have a long break. break. Be for that one. If my leaks are correct, baby. Like, if you thought oh, your, your leaks are no. fake, homie. My leaks are correct, though. Oh, oh if, my lord. We're betting $20 around that. If, if you thought you were going to be... If you thought the Eternals plot confused you, like, this Spider-Man is about to throw Ooh. you... About Ooh. to make you do a backflip in the theater. Toby, like, you're going to be confused. I, I guarantee you, Toby and Andrew are going to be in the movie, baby. Nah, they don't exist. They, gonna be they don't exist. exist. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, they're they're going to appear, and then as they appear, they get Thanos snap. Plot <laughs> twist, no spider, no extra Spider Man come in. Just plot twist, there is no Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for listening, and we appreciate everyone, and we want you to be a part of the conversation. You know, let us know what you think. Are we geniuses? You know, are we eternally smart? Are we eternally stupid? Uh, <laughs> what's your opinion? You know, make sure you check out our other videos. We're gonna be having a lot of stuff dropping, and I know ours are just audio for right now. But, but we're gonna video, have a lot of video is coming soon. We're having a lot of video is coming soon. We're having a lot of video skit ideas that we have in our and skit thing that might be dropping see soon. The most handsome one there. We'll be having yeah. those coming soon. They'll probably be unedited <laughs> to spare shy, Dumb and me. because we do a lot of stupid stuff. So make sure you check out those. And I think seeing our faces will add more will, color yeah. to the channel. And we should have an end of the year blooper video too. We've been oh, filming. Yeah. We've been filming these last few sessions, and we're gonna do a little collection of shit. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah, fun because we're be dumb. Fun. We like some, we, we do a lot of dumb shit. stuff. And uh, you know, remember, you can be nerds about anything, but we're nerds about everything. Have a good night, everyone. And good the guy who stole that bike, we coming for you. And remember, <laughs> winter's coming. Bye. <laughs>